Hi, we are broadcasting from a Filthy Lot Studios in North Vancouver. Uh, this is the set of both our uh, weekly podcast show called The Filthy Talk and where we do all of our tabletop role playing, except for Ready to Roll, which you might have noticed the, uh, the RTR logo on the screen. That is for our flagship D&D show called Ready to Roll. Uh, check it out on YouTube, on Questline. And also, if you want to join us weekly, we do uh, tabletop stuff, if that's your jam, which I'm assuming it is, based on what this convention is. Uh, <laughs> check us out on twitch.tv slash a filthy lot. We have tabletop on Tuesdays. Uh, we are super excited here to we be are. part of the Terminal City tabletop convention. Hell yeah, rep in the West Coast. Um, and today, we are incredibly honored and excited to get to play with Jack Matchett from Match Play Games. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm Jack from Match Play Games, um, and uh, we're playing Legends, uh, super, the superhero role-playing game today, which is a game I co-created with my dad, actually, and uh, we're launching on Kickstarter April 1st. Hell yeah. Woo! Looking forward to it. Early access. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I'm very excited to share. This is actually, we're going to be running through the starter adventure from the book, um, right. so everybody, um, once they have their own copies, can play along and have the same adventure. Um, I figured it would be good to start with uh, introducing everybody's characters, so um, if we want to start left to right, Alan first. Yeah. Uh, hi, my name is Alan, and I am playing Omen Insight, who is a... Um, uh, a, a young man who was going down a not so uh, good path, um, who uh, instead of taking um, anger ma management or g g going to uh, j j j j j juvie, um, uh, instead took uh, a private class with someone that he may have got caught ro robbing and she helped him open his um, inner third eye, and uh, now he has um, access to an omnidimensional, all-present being, and is slowly unlocking his psionic powers. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I'm Roz. Today I am playing 13-year-old Argo Noble. She is a very young super genius. Her parents uh, are the uh, owners, founders, geniuses behind Noble Industries, and they've got five kids, and she's the middle one, so she's always oh, eager no. to prove herself. <laughs> uh, she has two older siblings who are already super PhDs and work for Noble Industries. That's uh, uh, Helia and Neo, because they named all their kids after Noble Gases. And then her two youngest siblings <laughs> are TikTok stars who are trying to build a rocket to the moon, and so she's very jealous of everyone around her all the time, and is working very hard to prove herself, and she's gonna be able to do it, and she's gonna build everything, and she's gonna save the world, and then everyone's gonna know how good she is now. That's oh, Argo. Oh, damn. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, well. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's <laughs> going to be okay. I thought I was a lot. She's very <laughs> hopeful that her moms will notice her. Uh, I am Chris Livingston, and today I will be playing Captain Justice. He is, <laughs> is going to be uh, a 14-year-old boy who is a hardcore Boy Scout. Uh, went out into the woods working on his rescue badge. Came across a secret facility whilst trying to save a puppy who had wandered inside. Grabbed the puppy, got hit with a ray beam, became Captain Justice. Maybe. With no real understanding of probably what justice looks like, he's setting out into the world to, <laughs> to implement what he understands to be justice and fairness and right and wrong. So he's a bit of an anti-hero. <laughs> we'll see. Sounds a lot like Peacemaker. Yeah. <laughs> Except he's 14 and yeah. he's killing everybody. Yeah. <laughs> this is what's right. Uh, I think. Uh, how old was Omen? Uh, 17. Oh, okay. Word. Yes, Captain is 6'1". He looks like a man, but he's 14. And he just, the ray made him into Captain Just. <laughs> of course. Oh, wow. It, he lowers his voice, too. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, awkward, though. Uh, hi, I'm Trevor. I will be playing Moose. Uh, Moose is a 17-year-old uh, as well. Good number. Good number. Uh, <laughs> who had a full ride scholarship lined up to go to college and was uh, really excited to, d to follow that path and didn't give a crap about his scholarly endeavors. Uh, but then one day on the football field, his powers activated. He grew in size and he became super strong. And he actually injured somebody to the point of uh, paralyzation. So he's got that guilt to live with. Um, and he took uh, a, a year to sort of figure out and reassess his life because he 
wasn't allowed to play football anymore. So his his life plan was taken away from him, and he's not the smartest cookie. Uh, but once he realized that he could use his powers to try to do good, then that's that's all he cared about. And he took it, part of the year he took off was mostly because he was uh, uh, having his mom help him create a super suit because he figured he needed one. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. Excellent. So um, the four of you have met through a Powers Division junior superhero program. Powers Division in the world of New Olympus is kind of like uh, they help register new heroes, they help train people's powers, um, all sorts of stuff. And they run junior programs as well. And um, all of your parents would have needed to sign off and everything. But what they've done is now that you've gone through your superhero training um, and you're ready to go, ready to fight, um, they actually have gotten you a small security contract. It's more of like an extracurricular after school <laughs> activity is how they presented it to you, um, but what's been happening is throughout uh, Seaview, uh, which is a neighborhood in New Olympus, uh, there has been a string of robberies in pawn shops, antique stores, and what happens is in the wee hours of the morning, um, all the security systems, like alarm, cameras, uh, any security gates, they all just shut down for about like 10 minutes or so. Mm. Um, and then once everything it boots back up again, only a couple of items in the stores have gone missing. And generally, they're not even the most expensive items either. They're just a, a couple items here or there, uh, a bit cheaper, but um, they've just gone missing. So, and multiple stores have been hit in a row. Um, so. That's where this contract comes in. Uh, a store that goes by the name of Alistair's Antiques um, has put in a contract with Powers Division and they kind of kicked it off to the junior team uh, to come in over a weekend um, and just provide security from midnight to 8 a.m. Uh, every day. And just make sure that uh, the security system stays up and running, No, nothing bad comes in, anything like that. Weekend. Uh, do, Slumber party! <laughs> do we know if there's a, sorry, was there a specific time that the stuff's going down or just randomly in that time? So it seems to be randomly in that time frame. Alistair's has been hit already three times and it's always been between like two or three in the morning. Okay. Um, but other stores in the area have been hit like at like 7 a.m. right before opening and really random times. So Alistair's though, always between two and three a.m. Always between two and three a.m. What time is it now? Um, this would be, so they would be presenting this on like the Friday for you to go that night and I would say it's probably like six or seven in the evening. So you can go to the store, get to know the manager and get all set up. Okay. All right. Mm. So, I mean this job sounds easy enough or whatever mm. to be done. Never assume anything is easy. There's I want to give a list of all these items that have been missing. I'll bet it's a puzzle to solve because Ooh. if we can figure out what things are all missing, then we might know what they want with them, and then we might know what they want next. Ooh. I think there's logic in that statement. I think so too. Yeah, I. I mean, or we could just stand guard. You know, I don't. I don't think we need to go too far out. You know. I believe we must venture into the store and examine all items and search for any clues to the idea of what and why these perpetrators are breaking into the store and stealing the items there's... Do we know the manager's name? It's Ned. Ned. Ned? Let's go talk to Ned. I bet Ned, Ned has answers. Also, what if Ned is suspicious? It could be an inside job. So the store has Never two employees. Ned is the nighttime manager up until closing, and then Sharon opens up during the day. And they have a little bit of overlap in their shifts, but otherwise uh, it's just the two employees. Hmm. All right. Uh, how tight is it in there? Like, stuff real cramped? <laughs> um, it might be a bit of a moose in an antique store type of situation, <laughs> but um, yeah. You can see as you arrive, Ned is immediately disappointed and to see four <laughs> kids in front of him, essentially. Um, and he's like, I asked for adults, I asked for a real security contract, and he's like pacing back and forth, he's like super angry, super disappointed, but then he's like, well, come on in. Oh. It's all right, Ned, everything will be fine. We're here and we're gonna help you. All right, don't you touch anything. And he's a, immediately, like there's signs everywhere, don't touch anything, if you break it, you buy it. Oh, yeah, maybe I should wait outside. No, he's fine, he just, you know, he's very, Dexterous for someone his size. No, he, was a, he was a football star. 
Can you give me a charisma or an intelligence contest? <laughs> so our first roll <laughs> is a lot. Um, so what we do here, you're, you're going to roll a d20 and then add your entire charisma or intelligence score to it, and it's your choice if you're using more of your intelligence to pass the skill contest or um, your... Alas, while intelligence is higher, I don't feel like that's what she was trying to do, so we'll try this out. 17. Good 17. Number. And does that's including what you were adding? Yep. Okay, so you can mark experience for that. He is not convinced whatsoever. So you get five experience for okay. the roll. Okay, okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Experience. He is not convinced at all about this. He's like, maybe it would be good to wait outside. But I did? Yes. It will be all right. We are professionals. We are here and we're going to save the day. Oh, hey, God. little buddy. As he looks at Fargo. Does, uh, does the powers division have insurance? Yes, loads and loads of it. Oh, good. <laughs> and then I duck into the doorway <laughs> and come inside. The chandelier like raises up as you stand up <laughs> to full height. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's about seven five. And you see, uh, what? You see Ned like flinch. And then just pretend he didn't notice it at all. <laughs> but um, he, he gives you a walk of the store. He says, uh, so you, there were security cameras on the front, a security gate that closes. And then in the back office here, there is another security camera and it's just a locked uh, big like steel fire door. Uh, those are the only two entrances to the store um, and the only two security cameras. Oh, they, they have three, sorry. One more here that overviews the entire store. Um, and yeah, between the hours of two and 3 a.m., they've just completely shut down, the security gates opened, the alarms turned off, cameras have shut down, and when they turn back up, just a couple of items here and there are missing. All right. Um, sorry, uh, and you said that all the cameras stay on and there aren't any gaps in the view. Is there any part of the store that the camera can't see? Um, it, they don't really see this area over here where they've got kind of their antique weapons, but the rest of the store is all covered. Right, okay, and uh, so all the electronics go d d d d d d d down, but what about the, the locks on the front door? Those are analog, right? So there, it's an electronic gate. It's all electronic locks, so they, it basically completely unlocks and is open for anybody to come in. Um, right. Mm. All right. Uh, uncommon denominator. Do you want to go back into the back room with Ned and take a look at the tapes and videos to see if there's anything that may be deciphered from there? I heck and do. And also, Ned, I want to know a list of all the items and their worth so that we can look for patterns in what might have already gone missing. She's super smart. For sure. And he hands over a list to you and it's broken up. So they've been hit three times. Uh, the first time they were hit, they stole two or three things and they were mainly like, like a necklace, a ring, a little toy plane, all of it under $100 worth. And there's much more expensive items in the store, like things like the weapons are thousands of dollars. And uh, the second night, only two items were stolen. Um, it was a jacket and a violin. And then the third time that it was hit, they know that the cameras and everything went down, but nothing was taken at all. And this has all happened over about a month period. Okay. Um... Do you go into the back room? Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, so um, he takes you into the back room and you can see that they've even got like a big, like kind of antique safe. And he says that that's the safe that they use to store cash and stuff. It's never been, nobody's tried to open it. Nobody's huh. tried to break into it at all. Um, and he shows you, he brings it up on laptop, the um, camera system. And between two and 3 a.m., three times, like he said, everything shuts down, the cameras go all fuzzy and then they boot back up and everything's relocked, the door's shut. And have you ever had anybody, you know, look through your logs, find out if someone was hacking into your system? Um, he is not like an IT sort of guy at all. He's like, I, I, I have no clue. From our, it's basically as if everything shuts down and goes through a full reboot and then comes back on. We've never been able to tell if anybody's been hacking in or anything. I'm already not listening to him because yeah. it, it's clear he doesn't know anything that he's talking about. So I'm going to jump on his computer and start uh, working away. And he's well, like, oh, oh, okay. While that's happening, I turn to Omen. Omen, go into the man's mind. Tell me, is this an inside job? I. I mean, it's it seems on the up and up, but I'll check. I, I just don't like to like. Shouldn't you ask? Yeah, I just don't like to violate space. It's uh, okay. Never trust an adult. 
check his mind first. Earns our trust. That's uh, weird. I say, uh, well, you know, uh, I'll, I'll check, I'll check. I, I got it. I say, uh, hey, uh, uh, Ted, right? Ned. Okay. Uh, um, w- w- is there any indication that this might be uh, maybe like w- one of your fellow em- employees or maybe the, the, the owner or anything like that? I, I, I just w- kind of... He says, he says, like, I, I, I wouldn't think so. I mean, Sharon is Alistair's um, granddaughter, and I've known Alistair for a good portion of my life, so we're very good th- friends. And if you're reading his mind, um, do you want to give me a senses or intelligence? Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> and then Mima was like, and Moose, go check the gate. Uh, the gate. 29. Um, so you read his thoughts, and so he tells you that, and then in his head he's like, fucking little kids, like, he's like so <laughs> angry. And he's like, asking me for an inside job, I've known Alistair my whole life, and like, this and that, and it's, he seems completely... And he goes, hmm. yeah. he, he goes, uh, I say, uh, I don't mean any offense, I just want to make sure that we get every angle, you know. It's, it's understandable, and he, he kind of goes back to doing his inventory and stuff. Indeed. Uh... How many entrances are there? Like, there's the one we came. Which, which one is the one we came in? So you came in uh, right through the front of the store here. So I'll point it out here. I can even actually. We have minis. Give you a foot. Minis. That stick. So we will put. Yeah. yeah. The uncommon denominator is here. This is the back entrance here, and it's like a just a big uh, steel fire door. Um, I don't know where Captain Justice wants to be or Moose. Uh, and then we can say that Omen was asking him over here. And then the front entrance is there. Oh, that's the front entrance. Okay, so those are just windows on the... Uh, yeah, they there? kind of have a little bit of a like step a up. And yeah, and oh, display okay. into okay. there. Okay, and uh, 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 Captain Justice asked me to check the gate. So is it... What kind of security gate am I looking at? So it just... Um, they have a timed lock, so it's set to unlock or with a key card. And so Ned and Sharon each have a key card to unlock it. Otherwise, they set it for the night, and then okay. it just is supposed to stay locked. So the there's no time. like shutter gate. It's it's one of those like, like yeah oh, okay. yeah. So they they like lock it in, and then the electronic lock stays locked the oh, entire time. Okay. Um, what am I checking for? <laughs> it seems to work. All right, the gate is functional. <laughs> We know the gate is functional. We know it's not an inside job. What did you find? I'm Can telling. I use interface at the computer in the back? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that's five of my special ability points? Yes. Uh, okay. And then we will need uh, intelligence or census contest. Oh, that's not good. 22. 22. Yeah, you're all good. So okay. then you can have it complete one task for you. Okay. Okay, and I am looking for evidence of electronic intrusion. So if somebody has, you know, tried to break passwords or... So you, um, you start looking through the system and looking through the logs and you actually kind of get a sense of another presence there also watching the security cameras, the feed, the alarm systems, uh, and things like that. And um, you get a sense that that may have been this presence that you're sensing may have shut everything down and put it through like its reboot to um, then start back up again. Awesome. Um, Just for curiosity's sake, I would like to take a look uh, at the um, weapons aisle. Yeah, for sure. I'll move you over. Um, so you take a look around, and they've got some, like, swords, uh, a bow, they've got a few guns and things like that, and all of them seem to be, uh, like, replica antiques, like, for, like, movie props and things. They're not actual functioning real weapons at all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Captain Justice is going to wander out the back door to take a look around the, the back and outside and just see what's, uh, what's going on out there in case there's any signs of... When you walk past me, I'll relay the, something's in the system! Good job, Uncommon. Could you give me another intelligence contest, actually, please? 26. 
Um, the longer you stay rooting around the system, all of a sudden, as you're looking at the cameras and things, that presence disappears. It, it feels like it <gasps> withdraws or something made it kind of run away, essentially. Okay. So it's not it's not there anymore. Yes. It knows we're here. Interesting. Also, um What is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I will. Are, is there any background info on Alistair in their system? Uh, yeah. So Alistair opened up the shop um, <laughs> decades ago, and it's been in this uh, spot in Sea View ever since. Um, and he's just a nice old man who enjoys uh, antique uh, replicas, like weapons, um, as well as just antiques in general. Like is he still alive? And, yeah. He's still yeah, alive. but okay. he's retired now. Okay. So his his granddaughter Sharon. Uh, mans the store, and then um, Ned is like the afternoon, nighttime manager as well. So, okay, not a ghost. Well, that's good. I mean, you never know. I guess I'd rule out I all mean, the uh, if you know all the obvious things are taken. You got to rule out the not obvious things too. I'm gonna get I off the know. system just in case um, something else. Well, that's okay. Happens. I have dealt with many ghosts, but that's all right. We'll find out what this is this time. You've dealt with many ghosts? Of course I have. I, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, casually walk around the st d door and um, I, don't, I don't know a lot about like magic, um, but I'm, I'm hoping that like maybe like and if, if anything here is giving off like a like a, 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 a like an ESP resonance For or anything sure. like like that. Yeah. Why don't um? So you're walking around the store, and why don't you give me a senses contest with a minor advantage? So you're gonna add plus three to your roll. Okay. Um, and whilst I'm outside, do I see? Um, is there any signs of sort of like a forced entry sort of situation or something that somebody's been there? Um, I won't even make you roll for that. No, there's there's nothing. Nothing. No yeah, sense. yeah. You go out and the door swings and locks behind you in the alleyway, and you're like looking around and. <laughs> Damn it. Um, yeah. What did you get on? Uh, twenty. Seven. 27. So um, you go around the store and you actually get a little bit of a sense of this kind of mystical energy around these paint supplies here. Around the paint, paint supplies? Yeah, so they've got a, a, a palette and some brushes and things and you get this kind of weird aura energy coming from it. Uh, while, while, while everyone else is d d d d doing their thing, I'm gonna take my time to investigate that or hone in on the energy itself. Okay. Um, uh, give me one more census contest. Okay. And at the same time, Ned is like, don't you touch anything as like your hand is coming um, out. I say, and then I get back. <laughs> he he my, immediately my, just turns my, away. My hand is hovering. Um, yeah. He just kind of like. Mm. I'm going to leave the office um, and head back to everybody out. What time is it now? About? Uh, I'd say it's probably like 7.30, 8 o'clock around then. So, and, and Ned is kind of getting impatient because um, you're supposed to show up kind of like midnight is your time. So he's like, are you done like looking around? Are you good to come back later? Are you just going to stick around? Ooh. And meanwhile, I'm just... <clears throat> uh. Uh, uh, hello? Ned lets you back in. <laughs> Thank you, Ned. And we'll go, uh, <laughs> what did you get on your... Uh, I didn't get the minor advantage that time. No, uh, not that So time. 24. 24, okay, you can mark experience. You get five experience. And you're not getting much more other than this kind of magical aura. You don't really know, like, what the object does or anything like that. You do notice, though, as you're looking at it, it's got a new tag on it. So, like, brand new in stock tag on it. I say, uh... <gasps> When did you g g get this in? And Ned's like, uh, as he lets Captain uh, Justice back in, he's like, uh, some guy brought it in uh, earlier this week. Who was that guy? Oh, we don't really ask questions a lot of the time. It was just uh, kind of a office worker looking guy and he said that it was uh, his aunt's. All right. On the list of items that have gone missing, I'm just perusing to see if there's any data that correlates. So like, are they all from the same year? Were they all the same price tag? Is there anything that is 
pattern discernible from the missing stolen items? Not that you can tell. They all seem to have been brought in um, over the last few months by completely different people. Um, and the, um, the one thing you notice is that they were all like pretty cheap priced under $100. Okay. Yeah. Moose! Huh? Uh, Moose has just been staring through the door up at the security camera to see if it does anything weird. At one point he went, oh. <laughs> oh, What's up? We should order pizza. Oh. Right? I'm always We're gonna hungry. be here for like all night. Oh. Very good idea, Uncommon. I want pizza. Is there, is there like a, a pizza place nearby that, I, that we would know about? I could nosh. The, the best pizza place in New Olympus is Papa Jack's Pizza. <laughs> in universe, <laughs> that is the pizza place to go to. Oh. Uh, I'll get super excited because are we we're close to we're close to Papa oh there's Jack's? a Papa Jacks like everywhere. Papa Jacks like, everywhere yeah, oh yeah ooh I'll go get Papa Jacks <laughs> probably as part of your uh, like contract and everything they would have uh, put in like a food budget as well so it's Sweet. it's on power well it's technically on Alistair's antiques for right. <laughs> hiring you guys all right well um, yeah Moose is not comfortable in here anyway because it's tight quarters so he he wants out <laughs> excellent so I'll go to Pizza Run. Awesome. So you go on a pizza run. This like the antique store is in like a strip mall, and there's like a Papa Jack's like across the parking lot on the oh. other side. Like, um, nice. yeah. Is there anything else anybody wants to do before I think we'll kind of do a little bit of a time skip to the night? Sure. I was just gonna walk up to Ned and be like, Ned, I don't want you to worry. We have everything under control. What I need from you is to go home, relax, and leave everything up to us. We'll take care of it from here. I think we're definitely gonna need a charisma contest. For <laughs> Absolutely. <that. laughs> Smash cut two, the place is on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're outside eating. Uh, I roll, oh wait, I gotta add my... So you add the entire score on. Uh, 37. 37. Oh, he is, he's, you know what? I believe in you, Captain Justice. <laughs> okay. And he, he, he grabs his keys. Do you believe in Captain Justice? <laughs> I don't believe in Captain Justice. Yeah, everybody on the side then. So, <laughs> Um, he believes in you, he claps you on the shoulder, and he goes, you know, you seem like a real stand-up kid, and um, I am definitely okay leaving the store in your hands tonight and for the weekend. And There's... he drops you the key card and everything. Uh. He says, give this back to Sharon in the morning. Absolutely. Thank you for your assistance, Ned. Thank you. And he, he heads out. He doesn't even close the store or anything. He's like, he's so convinced that he's just, he's gone. Um, All right, yeah. team. Okay. <laughs> just... They're not gonna, all right. I mean, that's as, that's as ignorant, like, like I know it's like, like a, b b like a better part of town or whatever, but like, come on dog, like make it a ch challenge, right? Like, yeah, he's just gone. So whilst I was purposely outside with the door locked behind me, was uh, there anything that was discovered that I don't currently know? I'm picking up, um, Weird vibes from this paint set here. I don't know why. I, I walk over to the. Is it a, is a glass case? With yeah. The paint set inside. Yeah, yeah. So it's all a glass like display oh. case. It's the glass. So I just walk over to and I go. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> we just got here. Glass shatters down yeah. uh, and all over the paint set and everything. <laughs> just reach in, grab the paint set. Don't touch. I said weird oh. aura. <laughs> Somewhere wherever he is, Ned flinches. <laughs> <laughs> He just picks it up and he's shaking off all the glass and he's like, all right, what do we got here? All right, you said you got a weird aura from this paint set. Put it down. Is it like if I paint with put it, it kind down. of thing? But if we put it down, we can't learn from it. Give me it. And I hand it over to... I'm holding it. Uh, I don't, I don't, I put it down. <laughs> <laughs> For that second that you held it, you felt very creative and very like inspired and then you put it back down again and that kind of fades away. I pick it back up. Same feelings. I feel like Captain Justice probably always feels kind of inspired and creative, yeah. so you didn't have a, much of a difference at all. <laughs> what are you, what's going on, my friend? Give me a minute. I just Face need to, this stuff's weird. I, I just need to hang out with this for a while. And I'm gonna go. I hate it when you guys say that and go into your room. <laughs> I'm gonna go in the back room and hang out with this <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, what, do, what does everybody else do in the meantime? 
I'm getting pizza. Uh, how, yeah, how long is he gone for, is Moose gone for? Less than 30 minutes. Less than 30 yeah. minutes? Are we? Yeah. Uh, or it's free. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, with the Speedsters and New Olympus, it's like delivery under 10 minutes. Right? Oh, it's yeah. Like, you got to oh, run nice. around. Not everybody's a superhero, right? So That's fair. <laughs> yeah, I would say you're back by now, probably. You're back. If he's okay. back by Just now. Just a stack of pizzas. Yeah. This is like uh, Troy coming back in community. You walk in, there's a glass case smashed. <laughs> what happened? Were they here? Um, no, no one has come yet, my friend. No worries. Well, who broke that? It broke itself. All right, <laughs> here's what we're going to do. Captain. There was something important inside. We had to assess the situation. What was it? What was it? Uh, there is a, um, a gold a third eye open in my forehead. My, 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 my eyes are black with gold pupils rolled in, in, into my head and I'm just hovering over it. Is this something they're used to seeing? Yeah. Probably, yeah. So you like open the curtain and, and he's all set up. We'll come back to that. <laughs> and, uh, He'll wait. come back for pizza. Let's eat. Let's eat. And then he's going to leave a pizza, his favorite pizza. All the windows at the front and everything, I yeah. assume they all have gates on them. They or, do, yeah. Right? yeah. I go. Those are all the electronically controlled gates. <laughs> so they've got the regular, like, they're like welded in security bars, basically. Okay. And then it's just the front gate, which now when Moose came back, um, would have like, you swing it shut and it's electronically locked. So you can use the key card to get in and out, but it's it's locked up now. And the back door is the only other way in? Yep. Moose, my friend. Mm -hmm. I need you to go to the front gate and I need you to make sure it cannot open again. Uh... And we're gonna open the back door with a single point of entry. Our perpetrator can only come in one way. We will be ready for them. Well, oh, that's like really this plane or physical thinking. Like, what if they're not entering the store? Cannot open. But then they're already here? I don't know. Things are weird. They're superheroes. That was all possibilities. You uh, think they're literally coming in and out? What if they're not? What if they're already here right now? We just can't see them or feel them or sense them or touch them. But I can't punch something that I can't feel, sense, touch, or see. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a, a real adventure, I think, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna uh, eat a lot of pizza and worry about that later. Uh, Moose interprets what Captain Justice says in the best way he can, and he's looking for glue or caulking or something like that. <laughs> Excellent. I love it. He's gonna glue the gate shut. Uh, do you wanna give me a census contest as you kind of look around? Sure. Uh, 23. 23. Uh, so you're lumbering around, bumping into everything, and um, cool. you find like a little supply um, drawer in, in the office. Maybe you, you move Omen out of the way a little bit, and uh, they've got some crazy glue in there. <laughs> Spitting. Yeah. I can't fly yet. I haven't unlocked that ch ch chamber y y yet. Mm, so. I can. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, and sorry, am I find, and I find something? Yeah, you find like a little tube of crazy glue. A little tube of crazy yeah. glue. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> tiny. Yeah, a little tiny <laughs> in, in your hand. All right, I'm going to make my way to the front door and start trying to glue the seams of the door together. Excellent. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll go back to Omen if you want to give me one more uh, oh, census yeah. contest. Okay. Mm. Yeah, mm. no. All of my uh, like actual um, uh, abilities are more aggressive, so I don't I don't think I can use any of them on it like quite like that. But senses, I I. If you want to try using any of your abilities, we could create a new signature move for you as well as your. If you want to use your abilities in a new way. That's cool. I say through a mouthful of moose got me my favorite oh, pizza, thinking. broccoli pineapple. Oh. <laughs> so gross. So good. Um, I could potentially use my psionics to like, uh, in instead of dealing psychic or, or psionics or mind c control to like, like kind of like, uh, uh, persuade this aura to divulge its yes secrets for sure. 
Um, um, so what, what would I roll for that? I think in that case, we'll still call it a senses contest, yep. but instead of just using your kind of innate ability sense, we're like strictly focusing in on your mind powers okay. to do so. Yeah, okay. so um, if you want to give me yeah, a senses contest, we'll okay. give you a major advantage this time, so a plus five to your roll. Awesome, okay. So did I gain any experience for that uh, Super search for glue? <laughs> Oh no, you passed. Yeah, you're good. So oh. you don't get any experience from oh, passing you, you get when you fail. From failing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I rolled a seventeen. Uh, good, 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 good number. number. Thank you. Which Seven. puts me at thirty-seven. Thirty-seven altogether. Yeah. So you have like unlocked the secrets of this. Uh, it is a magical item, and it seems to do. Similar to what you were uh, experiencing before, it enhances your creativity and your inspiration. And with paired with the brushes, um, kind of overall makes you like a better artist and painter. And uh, yeah. Huh. I. Uh, what is it? To create, omen, to omen, paint. Omen, omen. The mind. Omen, 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 the soul, omen, the heart. Omen, 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 omen. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a cool paint set. Fuck, I'm hungry. <laughs> and oh, there's a pizza. whole pizza right next to you. Oh, me. word. <laughs> I just start eating pizza. <laughs> How much is it for a magic paint set thing? Because, like, I'm curious if the prices reflect, I mean, do they know that it's special? And if it's special, then shouldn't it be worth a lot of money? And everything that was taken was really low value, which is kind of suspicious. Uh, what does the tag say on this? For the whole set, it was like $20. I don't think they know what's happening here. Hmm. But as far as I could tell, this is the only innately powered, I guess, item. We should break stuff. Because maybe the things are full of things and people are coming in and they're stealing things that are, they're not actually stealing that item. What if the items are actually full of things like bad stuff, like drugs? This is an interesting plan of attack. I don't like attacking Moose. things. Huh? Break. No, Moose, don't. What? <laughs> All of it. Well, like, let's pick something that looks like it's a low value thing that might hold things, that looks kind of like other things that got stolen. And what if there's something in it? Like a secret code or. Well, Captain a Justice just or... immediately starts going <laughs> on shelves. What are you doing? Like everything. He picked up, like, one of the swords and just, like, stabbing things. And... I'm like, this is not justice. That can't be right. <laughs> justice is defined by the just, my friend. <laughs> and y- you ain't it. <laughs> God. Damn. I am going, as, as things get broken and smashed, I'm like, is there anything right written on the insides of them or are they full of things that would be different than what I would be expecting? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna You're say, me break things, as I said. anybody who's <laughs> inspecting things can give me a census contest and we'll say over the next few hours, you basically turn over the store and like <laughs> do, do I, a stock check. Do I um, glue the door shut? <laughs> Yes. I don't know how effective it would be. <laughs> but I've done you, you've done the job. I was totally like Very trying carefully. not to squeeze too hard because yeah. he doesn't know his own strength. Like, how, how, how much of your fingers are stuck together? Mm-hmm. Oh, probably like I'm just like Could more glue on the fingers like, than your the door. Is like... I just rip my own skin off. But I'm vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fun now. Yeah. It's uh, really okay. Sticky. Yeah, so for the next few hours, maybe uh, Omen is like set up in the office and you're just like breaking something, bring him by, have him scan it, and. Yeah. What are you guys doing? I don't know, man. We are looking for clues. Stuff in here is sus. The stuff. According to, <laughs> according to Uncommon, they know we're here, but we don't know who they are. Whoa. Or what they are. Or what they are. Or when they are. We've sealed the front entrance and left open the back, and we have a magical paint set. The clues are starting to add up. They're not. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. Um, you know what? What look, time is it at this point? Um, if we spent like a few hours on this, I would say it's nearing like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay. Probably. Yeah. So once you got the pizza, once you scanned the first thing, and now you're turning over the story, you probably spent like four hours doing that, like is absolutely there, trashing it. Is there some kind of way we could, like, make a trap? For what? But we don't know what it wants. Uh, Well, now that we've broken everything, hopefully there's nothing left for them to steal. Did we find anything amongst all the, like as we were handing stuff over to That's what we'll do the census contest. Okay. So we'll give both of you a census contest here. Hey, Argo. Uh, Yes. If you, you're good with computers and stuff, can you, 
connect to the cameras and then when they try to shut them off, then you know where they're, they are? Maybe. Ooh, would that work? Maybe. Oh. We can do it. Will it work? Maybe. Oh. It's hard to know, right? Like we don't know what it's doing or how it's doing it or why it's doing it. Let's, maybe. It's doing it. What if we turn them off? We turn all the cameras off? Yeah. And all the electronics and everything in here? I'm tired of waiting. But not my phone. Sure. But if we turn them off, maybe they'll come. Hmm? I mean, I also try. I mean, we need lots of data because we have not much. Mm. Do these cameras have um, audio? Good question. They do not. Uh, we maybe. can try, I'll shut the whole system down. Then we, okay. yeah, we could, you could maybe like, listen, I don't hack or, or whatever, but like if you made like a delay in the system sh shutdown, then made it look like we went away and then the s system turns off, it might draw it in thinking that we- That's kind of like a trap. <gasps> That's a trap, right? Sorry, I, I zoned out. We're, we're, we're gonna do a computer tra trap. Good. So your plan is the computer trap, you're gonna, we're, we're, what are we doing? <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna make a, a d d d d d delayed shutdown. And then, hide. and then the, the, the camera will see us g g g g go, and then it'll shut down and draw them in, p potentially. But we'll be hiding in here. Right? In the meantime, I assume I'm Sensing a jar or whatever? Yeah, so if you want to give me a census contest. It's like, I don't think we had to smash this jar. I think you could have just handed me a jar. Yeah. As the rest of you go around the store, you realize also none of the things are locked. Like, all of them could have just been opened up, but Captain Justice has just smashed everything. 26. 26. Uh, you find two more things with a magical aura around them. One is the trumpet there, and the other is the boxing gloves on the side. Both of them have uh, magical auras about them. Uh, huh. I, I put the boxing gloves on. And let's say you will, um, I don't know how to, give me a census contest for this one. Okay. To, to yeah, kind sure. of suss out what is, what is happening yeah, yeah. here. 17, 20, uh, 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 32. 32, um, you feel like your hands are a bit stronger and in a mechanical sense, this will give you a plus three hand-to-hand -hand damage. All right. Hey guys, I'm the champ. The, the, the best alive or whatever, the, the best ever, no? Yes, oh. you are my friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. You keep telling yourself. I kind of. What's your entrance music? Like you come in, you're gonna, you're gonna be like doing a thing. You got your like hood up on your little silk robe, and then you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you walk out to, man? Uh, probably protect your neck by Wu Tang. Sweet. Yeah. Um. Okay. So we've shut down the cameras. Yes. Or we're or do you want to give me another interface roll for that? Yeah. I rolled twenty four on senses of me going through things. That is cocked a bit in there. Good. Oh. Okay. Um, so the intelligence? Yeah. So uh, that one's a 37, but it, yeah, it was only a 24 for my search through on things. Um, so your search was su successful as well when you were finding everything for Omen. Um, but as you are trying to set up this um, shutdown with the cameras, you feel that presence again, and you realize that that presence was already in the process of shutting everything down. Oh. And at that moment that you realize that everything was in the process of being shut down, everybody else hear, hears the squeal of uh, tires in the back alleyway of a car pulling up. <clears throat> pulling up? Ooh, yeah, it I, sounds like it, it pulls up and, and like the squeal of the brakes. I it knew stopped. it. Ooh, everybody ooh. get ready. I hide? I eat one more piece of pizza. <laughs> You're like eating it off of the uh, painting palette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I will, um, I will, do we have communicator things or do we just yell to each other? Um, probably powers division would supply like yeah, communicator little communicator so I'm like, for you. Hey you guys, they're here. <laughs> hide, 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 hide. 
Hide, Moose. Uh, I'm hiding. <laughs> Where does everybody go? Um, are there any curtains? <laughs> There's like a giant rug this, on the floor this there. This entrance to the back office is like hanging curtains. Okay. Um, and then they have a couple more curtains on in the corners and stuff, just hanging down with like a lamp in front of them. All right. And things I'm, like that. Uh, I want to all been smashed. Stay relatively close to the to the rear entrance. Okay. But like wherever the door from the entrance, or sorry, the door from the back office into the main bulk of the area. So I want to be like kind of up against the wall and I'm just going to take a curtain. In <laughs> or out of the myself. office though? Uh, outside of the office. So, right so yeah, here. in the store. Excellent. Holding a curtain up against the wall. Where does everybody else go? Um, aye, aye, aye. Uh, I'm going to hide in the weapons room. Yep. Are you wearing the boxing gloves again? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so on your hand-to-hand um, -hand damage, you can add a plus three on your character sheet. Okay. And you can write them down as a uh, item. I will come out of the office looking for everybody because they heard me say hide, and then I will immediately see Moose and just be like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and I will... Uh, Moose off. closes his eyes when he hides. <laughs> of course. <laughs> if I can't see anybody, <laughs> I can't see me. Um, I want to be somewhere not too far if there's like a table or something to hide under. Sure. But yeah. I still want to see, be able to see him. Why don't we say under here? Because uh, it's a big display piece right. table. Uh, and I'm pretty small. I just like scooch under. Yeah. And Captain? And so Captain Justice, though, wanting to be the first thing seen by this person walking in knowing his 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 teammates are hidden and ready to jump out when needed he picks up a book off the floor that is knocked off of some shelf and he goes and just stands in the office in the entryway just pretending to read a book just waiting for somebody to walk in all right everybody be ready why aren't so you like, hiding not really hiding at all not hiding at all not hiding at all okay excellent um <laughs> oh Hello. Captain, since you are the closest to the door, can you give me a census contest, please? Yes. And Moose as well, actually. You're pretty close. Oh, oh nat 20. Yeah. Oh, nice. Then you automatically succeed on a nat 20. All right. So. Uh, I rolled a 17, but uh, 27 is my turn. 27. Okay. So you both hear this. You only hear one car door open, but then open and close, but then you hear what sounds to be like five sets of footsteps. It's clowns. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Moose. I hope he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Send in the clowns. clowns. <laughs> Only we had the trumpet. Yeah. <laughs> and this door opens because it's now been unlocked with the shutdown. And basically, you see the door open. A person all in black with a black duffel bag, balaclava and everything, opens it, sees you, oh shit, and closes the door again. And then you hear all five um, all five sets of footsteps start um, running back towards their car. Oh, I am. I didn't even get to say my line. If, if I hear that, I am running out the back and I'm trying to get to that car as fast as possible. Okay. We will all roll initiative. <gasps> <gasps> Just through the door. <laughs> So uh, everybody gives me a roll of their D20 um, and then add your initiative score to it. And we'll go one at a time. Oh. I rolled a nat one. Excellent. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but you add your initiative score to it, so okay. at least it won't uh, just be a one. 14. 14. 14 total or 15 with the one? So 14 total. total. Okay. Yeah. I thought mine was good. Four. Uh, uncommon denominator. 31. 31. Moose clearly got trapped in uh, 32. 32. <laughs> Curtains. Yeah. Oh, duh, oh. <laughs> Damn it. And Moose. Uh, 17. 17. Awesome. Good number. So the way that initiative works is we start at the top of the order with the highest number, and then we subtract 10 from the numbers until we can't subtract any more. So that means that Captain, uh, with the 32, you'll go on 32, and then you also go when 22 is the highest number, when 12 is the highest number, and two is the highest number. So you're gonna okay. go four times in this combat round. Okay, cool. So the higher number, 
the more turns you have, essentially. Um, and I shall roll ones for the group. That's such a fun way to do initiative, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's different. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's great. I, I'm, I, I can't be the only game in town. You understand? <laughs> That's rad. <laughs> Captain, it's your turn first. <laughs> okay. So you so have two actions on your turn. Have two actions on my turn? Yes, and you've got the list of them on your character sheet of what you can do. Uh, yes. Okay, so I... I'm going to, um, oh, I see right here. Okay, so I'm gonna, first I'm gonna uh, run out the door because I have to go out after them. And you see out in the alleyway, they've got a tiny car and there is one person sitting like blankly behind the steering wheel. And um, they seem to be trying to open up that one driver's side door and all pile in on top of that person. They're not opening any of the other doors or anything. <laughs> and, and, and like spotting them, like, Hold! And I just throw the book as hard as I can right through the windshield, right through at, the the windshield at the if driver, if I can. Yeah. Okay. Throwing the, the book is what j j right? justice is <laughs> all go. about. So we will say that, that there's one driver there. You can be mad. They've got a pile of them, and then the one that was in the door is running back. Yeah. Um, uh, give me an attack roll, please. Attack so, roll. You roll and then you add your uh, accuracy bonus to that. My accuracy bonus is, uh, where do I see that? Oh, there, okay, so I rolled uh, 21. 21. Um, so you throw the book and it goes clean through the windshield and hits the driver right in the face. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna do a roll of your hand-to-hand -hand damage okay. plus a roll of 1d6 because the book will do 1d6 and then you have your hand-to-hand -hand from throwing something. Right, okay. Uh, right, so my hand to hand is oh, no. eight. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so I rolled uh, for the uh, my hand to hand damage. I rolled an eight, and for the book, uh, I rolled a three. So. Awesome. So thirteen total. Yeah. So you go clean through the windshield, hit them in the face. They go, and then disappear. Interesting. <laughs> and do I? So is that was that my? It says I have two. I have two. Actions was the, was that my two yeah. Actions? So your movement and your attack was, okay, your, cool. was your two actions there. So that's one uh, uncommon denominator. You're next with a thirty-one. How far can I make it? Um, I would like to try the disruption wave if I can get within three meters of them. Uh, you for sure will be able to do okay. that. So I'd like to in try... a small store like this, your movement speed really oh, sweet. wouldn't matter. I like to try rolling between his legs, and so I'm gonna hit the ground and then like roll out and then smash my bracers together and then cast the disruption wave. Excellent. Cast the magic. Do you have a Wonder Woman move? I love it. <laughs> so you come out here, roll out the door right in front of him. Yep. And then that should be an attack roll. Yeah. Oh no, natural one. <laughs> all right, so. They just start to like snap and this mind technology is not working at all. So that is a critical failure. So that's a miss no matter what. And uh, this little pigeon that's uh, walking around in front of you on the grate, you go like, and it blows up in, like a big ball of Probably so between my legs. Yeah. Oh. Day two. <laughs> like if you've ever seen that the baseball, the guy who pitches the baseball yeah, and hits the bird, hits and the it bird. just like. <laughs> I'm just gonna look slowly out of it. That usually works. Well done. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, so it's uh, their turn. So these four are still all now all like falling over each other to try and get into the car. Um, and this one turns around and pulls out a pistol and aims it Ooh. at you, Captain. That got real. What? <laughs> and your defense is 12, right? Yep. So they hit you and deal three points of damage as they just clip you in the shoulder. Okay. Three points of damage. And when that one attacks, it you, it seems like the rest of them kind of get the message and they stop trying to pile over each other and they all kind of stand up, face all of you and start marching slowly towards you all. Um, it's your turn, Captain. My turn? Yes. Again? Okay, so they're all moving towards me right now. Yeah. Um, hmm, what's a good move here? They're kind of grouped together, yeah? Um, yep. I don't have the. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take a maneuver. I'm going to run at them, and then as I come close to them, I'm going to jump into the air, 
to move my body vertically and roll, try to roll through them as I, you know, okay. use my body as the weapon as I try to plow through them the, because they're grouped together. Excellent. So we're going to call this a skill contest instead of an actual attack. Okay. And you Justice can use roll. either Justice roll. strength <laughs> or a, um, agility for this. Your choice. Strength or agility? Yeah. Uh, what and then is if it's better? successful, they're we will assign yeah. a damage to it. Okay. We should patent the Justice roll. Nice. Rolls I rolled a uh, 29. A 29? Yeah, so um, I think you barrel forward and you get through about half of them, all barreling them onto the ground. So you're right in the midst of them now. <laughs> and you can roll a uh, your hand-to-hand -hand damage and that's gonna apply to all of them. Hmm. Okay. Uh, four. Four, excellent. Um, so we can also call that your own creation of a signature move. So you can add that ability to your character sheet if you want. If you want to call it the justice roll. The justice and then roll. Barrel through. <laughs> so so it. it'll be on a successful strength or agility contest. You barrel through and the people you barrel through, you do your hand to hand damage to. Sweet. <laughs> okay. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> Um, and uh, we'll call it that you still have one action left because we'll just say the roll was all part of one. Um, you still have powers there. So then if I have an action left, uh, the nearest, I, I, I grab the nearest and just... Punch? Okay, roll it. Give me an attack roll. It's punched. Uh, attack roll. Uh, so that would just be, sorry, what am I... Uh, so you add your accuracy bonus to it. Right. Okay. Uh, there it is. Not good. Uh, <laughs> I rolled a six. A six. Uh, so you uh, you you barrel through, and then you go, and right as they sit up, you punch the pavement instead, right <laughs> next to them. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> and you do get um, experience points for creating a new signature move, though. Which oh, sweet. I oh. will just have to <laughs> remember what it is. <laughs> 15 experience points. So the first time you use it, you get 15, the next time 10, and the, and the third time five. So you're kind of learning from this new power and you get experience okay. points for that. I like that, sweet. Yes. <laughs> Looking at my fist though. So you are all in the middle of them now and they all just go for a dog pile over top of you. <laughs> of course so they do. I'm going to roll five attack rolls. Oh God. That's one hit, a miss, a miss. A nat one and a miss. Only one of them hit you. <laughs> Captain Justice. I think the, the first one gets on top of you and the rest of them all kind of like diving over top and, and, and misjudging. Can I do the crawl out? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> crawl out. <laughs> yeah. and one guy grabs your foot. <laughs> they do two damage to you as oh, they just pile right. on. Moose, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, can I make it out back and to the car? Absolutely, yeah. Sweet. I'm going to get to the car and I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, can I just do that? I can lift 5,000 pounds. Yeah, so you'll pick it up. You don't need a strength. Uh, you don't need any contest for that. So getting okay. there, picking it up, you still have one action left. Great. Uh, I was still inside. I don't know that Captain Justice is at the bottom. Can I see that he's at the bottom of the pile of dudes? I don't think so, no. That's I'm going to hit all... them with the car then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking sideways. Sideways? sideways? So you grab into the uh, bumper and you swing it sideways. Uh, if you want to give me an attack roll, please. All right. Uh, what am I? Is it just a straight roll or is it? Yeah, so you roll your d20 nice. and then you add your accuracy to it. Nice. My accuracy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, was like, I see Moose pick up the car, I'm like, yeah! And then I see Moose start to swing it towards the guys, and I'm like, bonus? no! <laughs> it might be because your skills are so low, it's just zero. Oh, okay. Because yeah, <laughs> you're very strong, but not uh, very accurate. Intellig oh, it says come from intelligence or senses. My yeah. intelligence is eight. You my will senses. not have an accuracy bonus. My senses are 10. You will not have an accuracy okay. bonus. Okay, okay. So it's just... It's just a straight roll. Uh, 11. 11. Uh, that does actually hit. Um, so I will say that you hit like the top two of them. Okay. And you'll do your hand-to-hand -hand damage plus a roll of 1d12 for the car. That's... <laughs> 1d12 oh, no. for the car? Yeah. 
That's dope. Ooh. That's cool. But luckily, it's right over the top of me. Yeah, just kind of clips the top too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you clip them and then you just see Captain's face like through the <laughs> pile of people. I watched it. I was like, yes, no, fourteen total. <laughs> fourteen? Uh, yeah. So these two both like <laughs> and disappear, and the car collides with the wall and crumbles in all around uh, next to Omen. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm still inside, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, the car just uh, came through the wall at you. Uh, oh. Okay. Uncommon, it's your turn, and then it's uh, Omen's turn. Okay. Next. <laughs> I. With, will my scatter blaster be able to pick them off individually, or will I cause it to, in the direction of all of them? Uh, can you remind me what your scatter blaster does, what the power is? Um, it has scatter blaster, and then I think. Is it a is it the disruption blast probably? Yes, a disruption blast. Okay, is one d ten disruption target. damage on a successful attack roll. Yeah, so that'll just be for a singular target. Okay, great. So I will clock the, the closest one to me. This one? Okay, this is the one that shot Captain Arnold. Awesome yeah, perfectly. Cool. <clears throat> so the two disappeared, right? Yeah, yeah, they. Well, as soon as I hit them, I saw them just go. You <laughs> hit them, and it like carried them up a little bit, and then they, both of them. Okay. Um, do I add anything to the attack roll? Uh, your accuracy bonus. Okay, so 17. 17, yeah, 17 hits for sure. Okay. Uh, and then he will take 1d10 disruption damage. Eight. Eight. Uh, so you uh, blast them, and they fall backwards right to Moose's feet, but they do not disappear. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> <gasps> uh, you have one That's action cool. left because you're just uh, standing there if you want to move or do anything else. I will. Um, I'll just duck inside and I'll yell to Omen. Okay. And Omen, it's your turn. Um, Quick medical. What do you? Yes. Did the actions we take took stamina points? Yes. So um, every attack you do should take five stamina points. Ah. Uh, doing regular movement won't take any stamina, but if you have things like flight or teleportation, that will take stamina okay. for the movement. So, so I'm down five for the car attack? Or yes. Is, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be down 10 because I did the first attack. The throw. And the throw. And, the, and, okay, the barrel. Cool. Yeah. and then uh, with the uh, justice roll or just a bear, whatever it was called, <laughs> um, you can just say it's five stamina points every time that you do that. Okay, cool. Yeah. And here's Omen, your turn. All right, so what do you yell? Um. I'm just yelling out, some dudes are disappearing! Uh, there's a hole in the wall in front of me and a car half lodged in it. Yeah, I like guess. half lodged and a hole in the wall, yeah. And I'm, and I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> All right, uh, and um, uh, I'm going to um, activate my telekinetic b b b barrier. Okay. Um, so like the, imagine the like, Flickering shield effect from Dune without oh, awesome. the weird like colors. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So just I, like yeah, uh, just like kind of vibration. Awesome. Um, and uh, and 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 the 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 golden eye is open. My 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 eyes are black with gold, and I. Um, I, I guess that's my action. Um, well, that'll be activating a power. So you can okay. still move, you can still attack. Okay. Can, yeah, so it just takes one. Uh, Great. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, climb through the hole. Okay, awesome. So you climb through the hole, um, kind of come out on top of the dumpster here. Okay. And you see the scene before you. Yep. Um, Captain, it's your turn again. Okay, <laughs> so I'm on the ground still, and I've still got- Two on top of two you. Two on top of me? Yeah. How much do they weigh? Um, not a lot by, from how much they like piled on top of you, probably like a couple hundred pounds. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna, I grab the two that are on top of me and I just lift them straight up and crash them together. <laughs> okay, well do this as an attack roll then. Okay. What's your um, uh, strength? Uh, 400 kilograms. Oh yeah, yeah, you're picking up easy. <laughs> uh, okay, and then this is an attack. Oh wait, this is, I'm not rolling hand to hand. This is just an attack. So attack. I'm adding my, yeah. Uh, so okay, so 16. 16, yeah, you got them. Okay. And then now you roll your hand to hand damage. Uh, eight. Eight, so you um, slam them into each other and they both let out this like, uh, 
and then you drop them to the sides, but they don't disappear at all. They're, no? Yeah. No. Just on the ground still? Yeah. And yeah. then, do I still have the ability to get up? Yeah. 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 So then he kick flips up on <laughs> to a superhero pose. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Always posing, right? Always posing. Yeah. <laughs> you might call him a poser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets up <laughs> and then he and standing up. All right, team, let's finish this. Perfect. Uh, uncommon, it is your turn. You love it. <laughs> the problem is, I do. You know? <laughs> A land does. <laughs> um, I. Okay, I think I will. I'm really curious about the disappearing dude. Um, there's not much that we can do. So I think I want to go, I heard about the smash, so I want to run around to where the car came through the door, or the window, Are you no, the wall. through the shop? Or? Yeah, through the shop. Okay, yeah, stepping on all the broken glass and uh, yeah. destroyed antiques and everything. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, brush everything out of the way. Um, and I'm like, oh, oh. okay, okay, okay. Um, I want to get inside the car. That's in the wall? Yeah. <laughs> um, stuck? I, I, I figured it just kind of swiped a section out. You like swiped and like put the front, or the back end, I guess, because you were grabbing onto the front yeah. end. So you could probably like crawl over top of the crumbled wall and like get in through like the sunroof. Yeah, I want to start looking for clues inside the car. Okay. Uh, do you want to give me an intelligence or a uh, census contest? 25. Uh, 25, um, you uh, find a bunch of like uh, duffel bags and additional balaclavas in the back seat of the car. Um, and then also on the passenger seat, there's just a wallet sitting there on the side. Nice. Okay. Um, it is... So the two that just got bashed by Captain go to attack him. Two. I am rolling like garbage. One of them hits you. Hey, <laughs> me too. Yeah, everybody's happy when the GM rolls. Like garbage. <laughs> right? like, yeah. Listen, as long as everyone's having fun. Yes. You know? Considering Kevin just just kind of throws himself into this shit, this is good. This works for me. <laughs> one, one of them um, who gets up, they put on a pair of brass knuckles and they punch you right in the jaw for three damage. Oof. Damn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then. This one right at your feet, Moose, um, takes out a knife and stabs it into your thigh, also for three damage. But I believe it would just like crumple, right? Yeah, it would just because yeah. I'm invulnerable. Uh, but that takes three off of your armor. From my armor points. Yeah, so okay. they try to jam it into your leg and it just like, and they just like, <laughs> like look up at you, <laughs> like really wide eyed, just through the bella clave. You see like really wide eyes. Very scared. <laughs> and it's your turn, Moose. Uh, I'm gonna go, you thought that was cool. And I'm just gonna f uh, fly up into the air with the car. <laughs> with the car? Yeah. That she's in. Yeah, I don't know you're in there. Okay. I was looking at the guy on the ground. Uh, I'm gonna fly, so that takes five stamina to activate, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wanna put it on the roof of the building. Okay. Yeah, so you fly up and you yeah. put it down on the roof of the building. You you put it down and you see uncommon like. <laughs> I just be like, Miss. Oh, hey, little buddy. Didn't know you were in there. I found a wallet. What's Maybe we can pay for some of the stuff we broke. Mm, powers division, insurance. <laughs> insurance. Yeah. Uh, that can't be our team mantra. <laughs> is that full <laughs> coverage? Uh, no, that's, <laughs> we'll call that your movement. Just that's, your movement. You have one action left. Oh, okay. Uh, if I'm, if I place the car down without touching down and I'm still flying, can I make it back into the fray? Yeah, you could just like drop down and aim for somebody essentially. Sure, I'll, uh, I'll go up and just let myself fall. Uh, on, <laughs> on top of the um, one that stabbed me. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, so give me an attack roll and we'll give you a minor advantage here because you're kind of just falling. So God, plus three. I hope three your aim is good considering plus three? Right plus next three, next yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> plus three because gravity is helping. Power bomb. Uh, 15. <laughs> 15. Yeah, so you come down straight on top of them. Uh, roll your hand to hand damage. Okay. Eight. Eight, and you go right through them and they poof and disappear. 
as you come down and like the the pave stones ripple. And... Why do they keep doing that? Good job, Moose. It's really unsatisfying. <laughs> Omen, it's your turn. Okay. Um, uh, which of these enemies is closest to me? Uh, probably this one here. Okay. That's just they've just gone up after um, Captain has smashed them together. Okay. Um, right, and they didn't d- d- disappear. Uh, no, they haven't. Okay. Um, then I am going to. Um, yeah, I'm going to um, and send a psionic attack um, at his head. Awesome, so give me an attack roll. Cool. <laughs> uh, what do I add to the attack roll? So it'll be your accuracy bonus okay. if you have one. Yep. And it comes from intelligence or senses? Yeah, so it should just be listed on your sheet, the accuracy yep. bonus that you'll Okay, apply. cool. Uh, so that'll be 17. Awesome, cool. yeah, so that's hit the, that hits them. So then you do 1d10 uh, psychic damage, okay. and then also with psionics, you have an extra effect that happens, which I believe is listed on your sheet. Uh, let's see. Ha <laughs> Sick! <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's nice. yeah. Cocked. Okay, so that is uh, six psychic damage total, um, and um, um, and uh, they hear the like the uh, the resonant echo of a thousand voices saying the uh, the enemy of my enemy, um, and on their next turn they have to attack. Uh, one of their allies. Ooh, Excellent. Cool. So this is the one with the gun, and they kind of reel back um, and clutch their head, and it is their turn next. And that will hit. You see that they take the gun out and they aim it at Captain Awesome, and then they're kind of like, and go over, and boom, 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 shoot, and this one disappears and is gone. And when they do that, they immediately like scream and grab their head and kind of fall to the ground. And we're out of initiative now. We're out of combat. Oh. Whoa! And that one's still alive though? This, this... That one's still alive, yeah. So you know, just immediately Captain Justice just grabs him to hold him and just, who sent you? Oh, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. I... That's what they all say. <laughs> yes, all right. But then just tell me who sent you. Uh, Fiend. The 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 Donovans. The, Donov- the Donovans, of have, course. Have I heard of them? Yeah. Have any um, with anyone? Everybody can give an intelligence contest. I'm right. still with too far away to hear. A no. major advantage. So okay. plus five. Plus five. Because uh, all of you are from New Olympus originally, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll roll if I get to you guys. I'm still up in the car. Mm. <laughs> we'll come back to that. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm digging through the wallet. Listening just, to the radio. Yeah, just, yeah, <laughs> I'm just flipping through the radio stations. What were they listening to last? Yeah. If, it was, if it's something like it really is like a total bop, I'm just gonna I got you, babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on Frank repeat. and I got you, babe. On repeat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what did everybody get? 21. 21? 32. Uh, yeah. t- 22. 22. Uh, so 22 and 21 can both mark experience, five experience. Uh, Captain knows that the Donovans, um, that this figure is probably referring to the Donovan crime family, which is a crime family that operates um, in New Olympus. And uh, they're very kind of like old school mafia mobster feel to them. Okay. Of course it was the Donovans. My old foes, the Donovan crime syndicate. You don't have old f- foes, man. No, we haven't fought them. And you're I'm on our team. Trying to be a, you know, just. I cool, cool. Trying to cool. what? I... So, so we know it's the Donovans. So, is there any other information anybody would like from this fiend? Who are you? Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm Myriad. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's that's a good name. Even I get that because oh. there's so many of you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's a good name. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I say, uh, w- w- what are you after him? Um, I, I, I've been sent by the Donovan family to um, antique stores in the area. They just say, come at a certain time. Nobody will see me. 
and scan with, and out of their duffel bag, they pull out this little like scanning device and to scan items. And if anything goes green, take those, bring them back. Everything I bring back, I get $250 in cash per item. That's pretty good. I'm and coming! I pull it into my hand. Yeah, and it vroom. And I yelled out for Uncommon, hoping that she'd hear me to come down to check. Is there any branding on it? Uh, we're gonna switch to Uncommon just oh, for a sorry, second. Yes. While we, so while this is happening, you've been searching in. Uh, I'm car. very curious about the wallet. Are there any ID cards? Yeah, so uh, you open up, there's a driver's license belonging to a Pat Morris in it. Um, and How old is Pat Morris? Uh, Pat is like 22. Okay. And um, there's like a Papa Jack's pizza loyalty card. Nice. And, uh, <laughs> I take the pizza loyalty card. Yeah, How many stamps? Like, it's like one, yeah. one, one slice away from a free slice. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, cash? Uh, a couple hundred dollars in okay. cash. Oh. Uh, and then any like anything else interesting in the wallet? Nothing like more regular yeah, wallet okay. cards. Nothing uh, and cash. nothing in the like, you know, glove box. Uh, there is another, uh, the glove box is actually filled with like, there's another pistol, a bunch of uh, knuckle dusters and knives. And so it seems like they've got all the duffel bags and balaclavas on the back and then like you grab like <laughs> okay. a knife or something. I, I won't take any of that stuff. Um, are there any sunglasses? Uh, there are on the- I'll line. wear a pair of the sunglasses. Um, and just like, I'll just put his shades on. Yeah, actually see there, there's like a whole bunch of sunglasses like lined up on, <laughs> yeah, on the dash. Sweet. Uh, and then I hear my name and I will be like, <gasps> I'll scramble out over to the edge and I'll be like, Moose, catch me! What? Oh. I'm just gonna jump and just know that Moose will catch me. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, like, gotta go like tippy toes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <There you go. laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so you're all four are down on the ground now. How well do we get paid by Powers Division? Um, I think for Powers Division, it was probably since this is like going out at, at night, kind of after school type of thing, it would probably have been like $200 per person per night was the deal. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm not asking specifically for the job, but is it well known to be like a good career? Um, so generally powers division, they'll kick most of these contracts to people who don't want to be superheroes, but want to work like in security, use their powers yeah. in that type of sense. But in this case, since they know that you're on like the superhero career path, they kind of kick the job to you thinking that it'd be like a good, like first tryout type of thing. Okay. Uh, things like that. Oh, uh, <laughs> just holding <laughs> common or uncommon. Uh, so. Why did you go, like, why work with the bad guys? You could be a good guy. You could work for powers. Um, well, they pay pretty well per item, and um, they, they've been pretty nice to me. Yeah, but you're stealing from people. And they got That's a lot of dirt nice. on me as well, so I kind of got it, kind of got to. What kind of dirt? They, they know where my family lives, and they wanted me to do this job because I'd be quick. And I can duplicate myself, and they said that. Ooh. And where does your family live? I was perfectly comfortable. Uh, my family lives out in the green belt. Wait, so they're threatening your family? Yeah. That's not very nice. Well, we shall protect your family <laughs> from this day forward. Hey, Pat. No more crime. Uh, uh, they like instinctively look, and they're like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Um, he likes pizza. He likes pizza? Oh. Give him some pizza. Yeah, you're gonna have to stay here. I mean, we have to, do we have to? What are we supposed to do with him? I've, I've already called the cops. <laughs> and, then, oh. and I'm just gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. just knock yeah. out immediately. Oh. Um, down on the ground. I say, uh, uh, hey Argo, he had this too. Ooh. What can you make of it? I will investigate. Uh, yeah, uh, if you want to give me, uh, you can either do interface on this if you wanted to, or just a regular intelligence or census contest. I will interface with it. Okay. Oh, not good. Um, uh, it's a 23. And I'm connected to the machine, I guess. But I, I can really just like turn it on, and I don't know what else you can do with it, because it, 
I guess I just start Never. scanning things. Yeah, so, so you start kind of figuring it out, and as you're scanning things in the shop and, and things like that, you realize that it's boxing gloves. it has the same effect, basically, that Omen was doing. It's scanning for magical items, and when it gets confirmed, it glows green, that it has a magical aura, okay. and then um, that would be what Pat would be returning to the Donovans for <clears throat> cash per item. I like it. It's basically, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Huh? It's like you just took Omen's cool ability to find all the magic things and you put it inside a little box and then you gave it a sensor. And then it would shine green when it gets magic items. Um, does it have any um, technology fingerprints? You know, like the chips are from a certain manufacturer or does it all look like it's kind of common stuff? Um, it all looks like pretty common stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, all right, teammates. I think at this point we need to follow our clues. We should head to the Donovans. We shall ask them why they're sending this ruffian out to uh, steal from people. We should wait for the authorities to arrive Aye, first. But we shall leave a note so that they know that this is... We should also report back to Powers because they might want to send... Uh, how, what, how much do we know about the Donovan? Donovans? Donovan. Yeah, yeah, how much do I know? I'd, I'd be curious if I knew the... So the Donovan crime family, um, you know that they uh, deal with boosters, which is an illegal drug that gives temporary superpowers. Oh, no. um, that seems to be their kind of number one dealings. Um, you haven't ever heard of the Donovans seeking magical items before, so that seems a little bit odd to you. Um, but also the Donovans, like this is all rumored type of things, right? Like the public yeah. facing company, uh, the oldest brother is like almost like politician, like very celebrity. Mm. And they're like the public loves the Donovans. Um, and they have, in the Noble Quarter, they own a lot of like the clubs and the bars and stuff like that. And one of the main premier ones is called the Half Pint Pub. Do they, are they known to have like security, like super powered security in their, on their payroll kind of thing? Um, they are known, or this is all rumored, right? So they're rumored to um, work with super powered people and powered individuals on an occasional basis, but they're very strict and like we don't partake in our own supply type of thing. So like they're very straight laced mafia, no powers, mm -hmm. and just work with powered individuals occasionally. Uh -huh. Is their Luthor kind of. style. Since I, I recognized them earlier and I knew about the Donovans, do I know? sort of where I would find them? Um, the half pint is the half probably pint is the where most, I would... that's rumored to be like, while the rest of the bars and the clubs are, are all like fronts for them, like the half pint is like the Donovan hangout place, like where uh, friends of the family will come and mm. relax and hang out. And, okay. Yeah. Um, I take a quick video of all of us. I'm just like, well, I'll send it back. This is our report. Hey guys, we did it. This is the guy. We gotta do something. Just the, the right damage right behind us. Just is like. You know. Shouldn't we get like we're supposed to send? <laughs> what what is the powers division like? Like our job description. Are we supposed to do this job and then go back and get the next job? Like is like yeah, so to a supervisor kind of thing. For for this night, um, you were supposed to. Um, do security and stop any threats to the store for the weekend. So this happened on like the Friday night, I guess it's yeah. early Saturday morning now. Okay. Um, as far as you're concerned, you've probably fulfilled like yeah. the job and you would go back to, since they kicked the job your way, you're like training supervisor, which is probably like a retired superhero yeah. of some kind. Um, that's how normally it would go, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I suggest in order to make sure that this store is protected and that all stores are protected in the future, that we must follow our lead to the half pint to question the Donovan crime syndicate and find out why they sent somebody here in the first place. Um, I don't think that's such a good idea. So great, Moose. We have you to protect us. We'll be okay. Uh... We are a strong team together, and we can solve this mystery and protect this town fully. I don't want to get in trouble with Powers. Well, and what about hims? hims? Well, you said the police are coming, right? This is his wallet and his ID, and then they can help protect him and his family. And we're gonna go and expect him to stay here? And meanwhile, that's, that's not. Also, what I would two do. notes. One, I'm, I'm gonna stick on him, and yeah. it says, it says criminal fiend. Uh, <laughs> it says criminal fiend. Uh, you know, was robber or something like that. And the other note I'm leaving it says Ned, full coverage. <laughs> 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 uh, I will turn the security system back on for the place, so that you know 
Yeah. Someone doesn't steal all the stuff we spent. I mean, there's the hole in the wall. <laughs> the car on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. And all the that crazy stuff. glued shut. Uh, yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> Which probably didn't work, but it's still an inconvenient. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. A little sticky. <laughs> Awesome. So is that the plan then to move on to the half pint? Uh, Follow me, team. Who doesn't want to go? <laughs> He's knocked out, though, right? Uh, yeah, I knocked uh, yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. And we, we just like put his wallet back in his pocket, and you know. Yeah. Um, well, we can just send in the notes. We can just tell them where where we are and where we're going. Well, we're supposed to get our next like orders. Our orders were to defend. Were to prevent the crimes that were occurring here over the weekend and to protect this place. Yeah, in order to protect them properly, we must stop it at the source because they could send in another vile creature to rob because this one was ineffectual. So we shall go to the source and prevent it there. How far is the Half Pint Pub? Um, it's like a 20 minute drive away, probably. I... Does anybody here know how to drive? We have a car. I mean, I fly. can fly. And probably carry all of us. Yep. <laughs> I, well, I'm just gonna, while they're chatting, I'm gonna plop down crisscross applesauce, and I'm really curious about why the device can detect magic. That's how, how. So I'm completely distracted, and I will sit back for a second. While right. I so you're tinkering, taking apart, and everything, and it seems that it's got some sort of like rune um, on a stone carved into it, and that's connected to like an uh, electronics plate, and then that's what it's doing. So it's almost like a magic item mixed with the technology to scan. Can I use my charisma on Moose to comfort him into following my plan? Uh, if you want to give me a charisma contest, absolutely. And then if you're trying to resist, resist it could be strength or charisma or intelligence. Oh, your choice. He's very strong. <laughs> All right. 36. Ooh, I rolled a 35, so. Wow. Oh! Mm. Moose definitely uh, knows it's wrong, <laughs> probably. Do, do, yeah, Moose won't do the wrong thing. Uh, is there, do we have a method of communicating with our, like, supervisor? Uh, you, yeah, you would have, like, their phone number. Oh. Like, yeah. But, I mean, it's in the middle of the morning. They probably okay. are available. It's like a retired superhero. Oh, okay. Always down to hear about crazy adventures and stuff like oh, that. Oh, perfect. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not just gonna go there. I'm gonna, oh crap, <laughs> huge fingers. Uh, uh, hey Siri, <laughs> call coach. Um, <laughs> so my phone. It's um, it, it rings, there's actually a coach character in the book oh. as well, yeah. So, oh my God. Uh, so it, it rings a few times and it's like, coach here. Hey coach, it's Moose. Uh, so we caught the guy, um, his name's Myriad. He makes copies of himself. His name's Pat. His name's what? Pat. Oh, uh, he's unconscious. Captain Justice wants to go. He said he worked for the Donovans, but Captain Justice wants to go interrogate the Donovans. Should we do that? You've already got the uh, Powers Division protector units on the way. That's oh. basically the cops. Yeah. 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 They're on the way. Situation's handled. Yeah. Don't get into any more trouble, but if you can scope things out a little bit, this might be a good lead for you guys. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, also, the place is kind of trash. Well, you know how it goes by. Click. <laughs> and you hear him like <laughs> the first start of a laugh, and then you click. Like, <laughs> he, he gets it. He gets yeah. it. Yeah. He's been in the biz oh, long yeah. enough. Okay. Uh, good instincts. I just wanted to be sure, but. It's all right, Moose. Let's go. You did the right thing. Yeah. All right, team. Let's roll out. Oh, sorry. I'm not. I'm not I'll in work the alley anymore. I walk back out of the store <laughs> with more pizza. I'm like, pizza. Oh, we're heading out. Hi. Sorry. And so, like, I, I, I pick up. Uh, I pick up Uncommon <laughs> in my one hand because she's still just curled up doing her thing there, and I'm just like, I hold her. I'm like, Moose, you're gonna have to fly us, my friend. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly, and then I'm gonna table myself. <laughs> yeah. And I just grab her and put her on the back. Yeah, and everyone else could just kind of get on. 
and I'll stay tabled. <laughs> yeah. That's right. You know, but you, I'm just going to grab on from underneath. <laughs> perfect. So you are all on your way to the Half Pint Pub, and I think that's the perfect time to take a small break. Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, my goodness. Welcome back, everybody. Yay. Um, so where we left off, we were parallel flying on our way to the Half Pine Pub. Yeah. Hanging on. Very and carefully. a quick scene change, and here we are. <laughs> so I'm going to put everybody outside the front here. Am I the only one that can fly? Yeah. Right now, yeah. I can run pretty fast. Bubble, 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 but I, working I on it. Fly. It's a hard chamber to unlock for psionicists. Yeah. We're going to have to figure out a better system, guys. This is a little weird, I got to say. I could Uber. I could have Ubered. No. It's just a little weird. Well, I, I don't know. Does anybody have a driver's things. license? I mean, this is pretty fast. How fly? I can, you have I can a driver's move. license? It'll be like double, double my moving, your moving right? speed, yes. So I can go 70K? I mean, this is pretty efficient. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So unfortunately, since you were flying, this won't apply to you, but everybody else, since you were all just kind of waiting around and recovering, you can all get your stamina back. Hey, sweet. Oh. Um, for healing, uh, for recoveries, it says, uh, I can do this three times per day? Yes, you can do so. Uh, depending on your stamina level, you have a certain amount of recoveries per day. And a recovery is a roll of 1d10 plus your level. And your level's zero, so it'll just be 1d10. Okay. Uh, and I had landed and then flew again, so that it's an additional five stamina? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, 1d10 plus, right, okay. So I got. I can get back four hit points? Yeah. Do that? Okay, cool. I'll take it. And. <laughs> How do we get back stamina? Uh, just by um, kind of taking a breather. You, you get back a quarter of your stamina for every 15 minutes of rest time you have. Oh. So it takes an hour to just get back to normal. Okay, Yeah. okay. Why, Moose, do you need a break? Uh, when we get there, it might be good if I just kind of take a little break. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. yeah, man, I mean, if you, if you wanted to hang back, we can call you in. We just got to ask some stuff. Ooh, we need a signal. Yeah. So I'm, I'm still hanging from underneath you guys. <laughs> like, um, I would say you've come down, and we'll going... say you're across the street. You've touched down. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, we're down. Yeah. okay. We can call you uh, uh, insurance. Why do we make moose noises? Um, <laughs> when we were when we were flying in, were we that able is to good. see if there was like uh, like skylights or anything like that? Um, so they've got a pretty big skylight and you can see into this section, like the billiards room, but everything else is uh, covered up. And then they have like the little outside um, patio area as well. And that's what you've been able to see so far. Um, Moose, Whoa. can you throw me on the roof? Ooh. <laughs> can he? I can try. <laughs> <laughs> Throw me! Um, I think we'll do an agility contest for you okay. and a strength contest for you. Could I okay. help stabilize him? Sure. How would how do you propose? Uh, using a <laughs> hurl object. <laughs> oh, with your like, telekinesis just yeah, yeah. to help out? Yeah. Okay, we'll say yes, and what that will look like will just be a plus five um, to both of your rolls. Okay. We'll say a cool. major advantage to both of you. You kind of like against. write him in midair and everything. <laughs> uh, okay, so this Whoa, okay. What am I, what am I, <laughs> yeah. sorry, what am I adding together here? It's uh, my... uh, your agility on top of it. Ah, okay, cool. And then mine's my roll plus my strength plus yes. five. Yes, and but yeah, both of you have a plus five on top. Uh, so that's... 41. Yeah, you're yeah. good. 36 <laughs> or something. 36. Oh, you're good as well, yeah. The yeah. overshoot. So you go up and you uh, kind of land, tuck and roll, and you're good. And it's on the <laughs> little like gravel rooftop. Grab very, very superhero pose. Yes. Yeah. How many bugs in your teeth, uh -huh. though? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm, protein. That was uh, kind of fun. Should we just, like, knock, though? Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna go up yeah. To the, hey, Omen. The, the skylight. Yeah. Inside okay. of the magic tool, pointy device scanner business. Uh-huh. Rune. Do you know what that is? Does he recognize the rune? I don't know magic. Um, but uh, but my powers are cosmic and uh, uh, foggy. Yeah, if that makes sense. Um, it's you like can that. do your same like senses that you did before okay. uh, census contest. Okay, so it, I, I I put that down as a s s signature move called uh, s s sense aura. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah perfect. Yes. So if you want to do that. Yep. 
and I roll. I was trying to roll with my mind and it, <laughs> it wasn't gonna work. God damn it, dice! Ooh, ooh, ooh. 31. So to you, this just seems like, imagine basically like a magic magnifying glass, essentially, even though it's just like a little rune and you are waving it over things, mm -hmm. it, it kind of amplifies the sensing of different magical auras. Okay. So then coupled with the electronics, it seemed that when it was like detecting something, they would give it a scan of a yes or no, like if it actually was okay. a magical I'm, I'm gonna uh, break the rune off of the chip and just... Yeah. I'm hanging on to this. Excellent. Uh, would throwing him have cost me any stamina? Uh, it would have been like five stamina, yeah. Okay, but I'm gonna take a break to recover stuff. I need to recover 20 to get to full. 20 to get, how much is your, your full is like 45, right? Maximum 45. So we can kind of hand wave and say that you're kind of, while they're looking at this and he's on the roof and stuff, we can just all go back to a full stamina. Cool. Okay. On the roof, uh, so you're looking in the skylight, yeah. you see um, there's a few people the place is open. It's probably around like 4 a.m. at this point though. Um, there's not a lot of people. You can kind of see out into this area and you've got a bartender, a couple of people playing pool and another person just off to the side playing darts. Not a lot of people inside. It seems pretty pretty sparse and pretty empty. And okay, I will say there is one person bouncer out front. Um, okay, I'm gonna run back over to the edge of the roof trying to signal to my companions. We have we have things and we I, can hear you, man. <laughs> I'm just giving hand signals at first. Yeah. I go, I, Argo, m m m m moose, <gasps> hang back, you, on me. Uh, I, I literally, literally you know how many people to like, are inside. climb up your shoulder. I, I said, no, I, I said, okay, no, no. Um, Usually I just ride moose. No, uh, you're gonna walk with me. Okay, but I don't look old enough to go in. Follow, I, I am not either. Follow my, my lead, play it cool, okay? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna make myself look a little older. I'll like tie my hair back and, you know, like try to like look cool. I have uh, long dreads because it's fantasy. I'm allowed to have hair again. Uh, I, I tie my, <laughs> my hair back too. Um, uh, and I'm like, Let's do this. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm a grown up. Yeah. 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 And I go, all right, let's go. Uh, and I'm going to walk up to the, b b b b b b b b the bouncer. Okay. Um, are Moose is going with them? He said hang back, so I'm just kind of standing on the other side of the street. Okay. You, you, uh, I, I, uh, sorry, I, I wasn't sure if you wanted to rest up and wait for, for the call or not. I think I'm good now. Oh, then help. Oh. Okay. Yo, let's go, let's go. And uh, we're grown ups though. Look tough. Uh, okay. Grown ups. <laughs> <laughs> I see my team going back to the door, and so then I go back to the window, and I'm just like, Did you get that? Did you get that, team? There are four, four people inside. Four. You don't, I, I, I sense him, and I'm like, You don't have to touch your, your ear. Are you just gonna All right. stay up there? I will guard you from above, my friends. Mm. I will enter the scene dramatically. Oh. <laughs> uh, so you walk up to the bouncer and just gives you a nod and opens up the door for you. Mm. And he goes like, restaurant section is all ages. Billiards room is 18 plus. And just, it, just lets you in. It, it clicks in my head that this is like a family bar and I'm like, I was expecting like like the biker pub from Dare the Devil, and instead I get this. I'm like, ah, oh, this fucking blows, dude. <laughs> yeah. So he just lets you lets you right inside. I'm like, all right, fine. S still act tough though. You over here, and the three of you inside here. As we pass him, I'm just gonna be like, keep walking. And he just kind of like. Shrugs and closes the door again. <laughs> Team, try to find out where the Donovans are. Ask the bartender for questions. I um, <gasps> I I had an idea. Yeah. I know there's not the best, but uh, why you have great I, ideas, Moose. Do we not let anybody tell you that you don't have great ideas. Oh, thanks, little buddy. Um, let's let's ask. Uh, say we're looking for Pat. 
Myriad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pat Morris. Yeah, yeah. He's 22. Yeah, because if know you his look address. here, then they'll know him. And his driver's license number. Say, so let's say that that uh, we heard there was a job. Did you memorize all this about Pat? Yes. Or did yeah. You, like yeah. keep the wallet? <laughs> no, I memorized. I gave him his driver's license back. I only took the pizza card. <laughs> Excellent. <Yeah. laughs> wait, wait. That was the most valuable thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right. Should we just should we call him by his cool name? Like say we were sent by Myriad. Yeah. 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 That's dope. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. I. Because no one knows who we are yet. No. Um, okay. We could say that he put in a good word to. Yeah. Yeah. Get us a job, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. 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 All right. <clears throat> Well, but who were we telling this to? I don't know, the bartender. Okay. I mean, this place looks kind of on the up and up. But what if we also just like make eye contact with a security camera? I just, is there a security camera that's- uh, Um, there is no security cameras inside. Yeah, this place sucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Fuck this place. <laughs> this is stupid. Uh, while we walk past, do they have like just like bins with menus in them while we're walking past? Yeah, yeah. As you okay, so I'm just gonna I'm perusing the menu while these guys are talking. We just ate. Uh, that was hours ago. It was hours ago. Plus, we only had pizza. Don't you want something else now? How are you not always hungry? I'm always hungry. I'm always hungry. All right. Um, you don't want moose hungry. I know. I know. Uh, I'm just gonna walk up to the bartender <laughs> and, uh, and say, hey, Myriad sent us. He's uh, like cleaning out a glass as all bartenders do every single time you see him. Um, <laughs> he's cleaning out and he goes, uh, <laughs> did he give you the uh, secret word? No, he just said there was a job. Give me a charisma contest. <laughs> Was there or strength. If you're trying to go a little bit more like intimidation, you can oh. go strength if you want. Or uh, charisma. Okay, let's do it. I don't have time for secret words. Would I have known anything from the wallet? <laughs> oh, crap. Were you in search of his car? No, he didn't okay. even say okay. anything. 29. 29? He uh, puts the glass down and uh, goes, all right. And he uh, kicks his head back to, uh, he says, take the stairs go downstairs and uh, knock three times on the private door. Three times. Three Team, times. shall I make a dramatic entrance? Will it help distract them? Uh, okay, thanks. And then I'm just gonna walk back towards these guys and be like, come on, uh, I think I think we're going downstairs. Okay. Do um, not make a dramatic entrance, I repeat. Make a dramatic entrance? Do no. not make a dramatic entrance. All right, team, I'm coming in. Sweet Jesus. And, just and Captain. Through the skylight. Can I, <laughs> can I mind control? <laughs> Where, whereabouts are you coming in? Where, it's, uh, if it's skylight. a skylight, yeah. I'm just gonna drop down to try to land on the pool table that has people around it. <laughs> on the Superhero pool table. landing. So they immediately, they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I met the bartender trying to order chicken nuggets. <laughs> I think we're immediately gonna roll initiative. Dang it! <laughs> oh. I, I'm gonna see you fall and be like, I want a nugget. <laughs> I just wanna go, who's that guy? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so initiative for everybody. Beans. God damn it. <laughs> Holy uh, cow. Gotta bring a little chaos to the oh, table. Yeah, wow, how did right. I did the same thing. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we were just gonna play it so cool and this restaurant was already so b b b bonk and family friendly. All right, Omen. Uh, I rolled a 23. 23. I rolled the same thing. 21. 21. Uh, 28. And 28. 17 for Moose. 17. And Donovan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Captain, you're up first. You come down through the skylight. <laughs> and I just, I'm just gonna plant one hand down on the, the pool table underneath me and spin kick the two people that are right, right at the pool table. 
<laughs> oh my god. It might just be people. <laughs> <laughs> it totally might be. <laughs> but I am Captain Justice. Um, He's a liability. <laughs> if you're doing your word. your like uh, barrel yeah. roll, you can hit both of them. Or if you're just doing regular attack, it's just gonna be on one person. Uh, I'll do it with my my barrel roll. I'll just okay. when, so I can just try to come right through them. I'll All do right. the justice roll. Go for it. <laughs> oh, and that one. Ooh, <laughs> shit. Now, uh, so you see the three of you as you're starting to walk towards the back door. You see uh, Captain Justice fall through the roof, glass goes everywhere, stands up, steps on a ball on the pool table and just flip over <laughs> onto his back, just flat down. Just I put my hands up. I'm, I'm like, pretend, what? pretend you don't see it. Yeah. <laughs> pretend. No, we should pretend that like we do see it and we're just like, whoa, that dude's crazy. As I hit the table, I'm just like, I meant to do that. I filmed, I, uh, I filmed the whole thing and I posted it to TikTok. You go back down on the table and both of them take their pool cues and just start wailing on you. <laughs> and they do uh, 14 damage to you. Oh! Wow. oh. They just start wailing on you. We should scan you. those pool we're, cues. We're gonna, magic. gonna yeah. put her <laughs> keep walking on. Yeah, the going down the stairs. Go back. <laughs> you in the background? <laughs> just getting fucking bubbled. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Holy so shit. So my phrase, Good look rolls. at your life, look at your choices comes to Yeah. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> oh man, oh man, it's your turn. <laughs> Broke him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. It's all right, team. I've got this. So he says to no one. Yeah. <laughs> It's your turn, Omen. Um, oh. I'm gonna look at the bartender, um, and I'm gonna mind control him. Okay. And I'm g gonna say, um, um, uh, ignore us. We're just gonna go t to the back door. We don't know what th that that was about. Okay. Um, so with the mind control, what is the? It'll be. I think it'll just be a contest, right? It'll be charisma or intelligence, yeah. and then uh, it'll be uh, I control him for one turn in combat. Yes. And are you doing intelligence or charisma? I am doing intelligence because you're going against the guard. Your number to beat is eleven. Okay. I mean, I beat that with my intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Twenty-eight. Yeah. So the uh, the bartender like looks over and down at what's happening, and you say that, and they just pick up their glass and like, <laughs> like turn around. <laughs> like, I'd say, let's go. Um, and y'all are still heading down that way, yeah. right? <laughs> Thanks, team. <laughs> uh, uncommon, it's your turn. Um, can I see if there's any soda on the bartending area? Yeah, he's got one of those like soda guns. Okay, um, I'm not allowed to have soda. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I want cherry coke if they have it, and I have like I'm working my way through my list. So I want to reach over with a soda gun and a glass, and if I can get anything, uh, just like on the list of things I'm looking for. So like. Cherry Coke, regular Coke. Um, I, I, if, if, if I get stuck with root beer, I'll take it. But any I think they've got Coke. Probably. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Sorry. What's the um, What's the new Olympus branded cola? Oh, that's a good question. Mm. Probably Ooh, like, like superhero-y feeling, right? Like, it'd probably be like Olympian cola or something yeah, that's like great. that. That's like, great. Um, uh, <laughs> they only have Pepsi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like, Psh. Are you doing anything else? You would have one more action left. Uh, Drinking. <laughs> no, I'm just, I, I, you know what I'll do is I'll probably make one for Moose too. Excellent. So that if I can be like two glasses ready to go. Um, Captain, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so. They've been hitting me with pool cues. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna 
I'm gonna reach up and grab one as it comes down and then just swing it at the head of the closest person. Okay. Um, nat 20. There you go. Okay, so <laughs> a nat 20, a critical success, you will do the full amount of damage that you could do, okay. less a uh, roll on top of that. So uh, what's your hand to hand normally? Uh, 1d8 plus one, so that'd be nine. So nine, uh, plus also with a pool cue would be a 1d8. So you're gonna do uh, 17, and then you roll the 2d8 plus one on top of that. Or, oh, yeah, because the, oh wow, jeez. Uh, which is another eight. Eight total, yeah. uh, so 25. Yeah, so you crack him across the jaw, and he like, uh, just straight knocked out and crumples to the floor. <laughs> just and immediately. Then, and then I'm gonna roll back off the table to, to land. <laughs> Looking at them all, let's Nose do this. <laughs> like, <laughs> Excellent. Uh, like, cir circumstances notwithstanding, you, you actually look kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, it's your turn. He's a villain. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, I just play some late night pool? I said he looked late. cool. I didn't say he was cool. It's the weekend. <laughs> just like, hey, We've had man, a long, long uh, work yeah, day. It's been rough. <laughs> I don't really want to go home. Me and Tiffany are having trouble. Yeah. Yeah. You want to just play some pool? He's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 Shit. Uh, my turn? Yeah. Yeah, I am going to go down the stairs. <laughs> and come to a door and knock thrice. Okay, uh, this is going to go off the map, so we will come back to that. Copy that. Sorry, uh, I, I went down that way after my oh. mind control. Oh, my bad. So both of you are off, and we will come back to that in just a moment. Um, Donovan's turn. Just thinking of things I'm gonna do next. Uh, and this <laughs> one, move it. <laughs> so, so this guy with his pool cue, um, he was coming down to hit you right as you rolled backwards, and he just like thumps the table really loudly. So, and this guy playing darts is just like drinking and like cheering and clapping the entire time of what's happening. Bar fight. <laughs> oh man, it's your turn. Uh, if I have two, like if my mitts are full of as much soda as I can carry, yeah. then I'm gonna carefully like toddle my way. Well, I'll, you know, I'll drink as much of one as I can, and just like, oh, and then and fill it up again, and then I'm gonna follow after the guys. Okay, sweet. Um, Omen, are you doing anything else <laughs> before? We'll switch over maps in just a second. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe without Captain, but <laughs> are you doing anything else? Mm. Um, I'm 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 just gonna say uh. You know, with that kind of attitude, we're never gonna get to join the Vanguard, right? Um, well, we're all learning. You know, we all have different things to learn. I need to learn that, you know, I zone out. <laughs> and then I just keep, like, I'm, I'm just like drinking again. I'm like, I pass one to Moose, but I'm just like, oh, 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 oh. Uh, and I <laughs> smash my glass and I'm like, ah! I'm like, what was I saying? Yeah, we all got something to learn. Um, I uh, I look at the guy who's still fighting uh, Captain and I say, um, stand down. Uh, do you want to give me your mind yep. control again? Did you see the guy? We went downstairs. Uh, oh, right. Um, he could pop back up. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, yeah. He, he's going down just like yeah. head out on the side. <laughs> stand down. <laughs> With the 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 you voice. Saying that the, to me? No, the other no, to one. him. Oh, okay. To the guy attacking you. Number to beat is fifteen on this. Okay. One. Crit fail. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Oh, Twenty-seven. Sorry. Uh, so Omen ducks his head back, and um, as as Captain rolls off and stands back up again, this guy has gone from like hitting the table and just picked up his pool cue and just started going <laughs> to. <laughs> Play again, and as if you're not even there. And we're out of combat now. Are we? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Until no, you do fine. something. <laughs> Until you do something. Until you do something <laughs> justice. <laughs> All righty, I'm going to take, I'm guessing Captain is following. I, I will, team. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit up and go, Good thinking, team. With <laughs> 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 a busted eye and a bleeding nose. <laughs> just, just step over the guy that I've, I've, I've put you down. The smile and, and, and looking at the other guy. <laughs> You're getting off easy. <laughs> and then, 
walk to the stairs. What? Just little blue marks of chalk. Yeah. Yeah. Little yeah. chalk. Yeah. <laughs> Some mudges. <laughs> um, yeah, so the four of you come down the stairs into a small area. And there's three doors in front of you. This one is labeled kitchen, cellar, and then a door marked private. Oh, okay. Uh, that's the door I'm gonna knock on then. Awesome. And you One, knock. two, three. And you hear this like smooth voice say, come in. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 Moose. What? We should decide how many of us want to go in, right? Do we all just like, Walk in? Do we want to like leave some people outside? What's the best strategy, really? Hmm. Strategic thinking. Well, I mean, this he knows. Where I'm that... a Viking. Oh no. I think we should leave him outside. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um, I think we should pretend. That Are we a team? We... Yeah, we'll pretend we want a job, and we'll get the details, and then we'll arrest them. I'm gonna kneel down while they're talking and and start healing myself again. Take a I'm recovery. Take yeah. A recovery. <laughs> Go for it. So it's just a roll of 1d10. Yeah. We should probably also do my business. Do what? I, I'm on it. I'll, I'll see what I can do, but I have to assess first. We've already knocked. We've got to go yep. in now. Yeah, this is taking a weird amount of time. Yeah. It's going to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you open the door, and it reveals a little private room, and sitting uh, in a chair here, um, and doing Best some you. some bookkeeping, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and playing poker on the side. I knew There's it was two time more, travel. Uh, two more Donovan uh, guards, and then also uh, doing some bookkeeping is what looks to be like the devil, essentially, like in a suit and tie, but uh, red skin, uh, curly mustache, tail, like a very like almost like a caricature of the devil, essentially. Uh... <laughs> hey, Satan. So we all just... And are they going, you guys are going into the room? Yeah. And as they go into the room, though, I'm going to duck into that side room there that's got the barrels, and it looks like there's another doorway in, uh, to the... This one? Uh, no, where the barrels are. Oh, the cellar? It looks uh, like there's another door yeah. into the space through there. So you go into the cellar. Did there. While the other three enter here. Don't worry, team. I'll have your... And uh, the devil-looking guy just beckons at the couches and goes, take a seat. Oh, hey, uh, we got sent by Myriad. Said he, there was a job. Did you? Yeah. Can you give me a charisma contest? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> His name's Pat. The number to beat was 23, so you can mark experience. Yep. Not buying it one bit. Okay. How much experience do I get for that? Uh, five, five experience again? points. Uh, do you go around the uh, couches and everything? Uh, he said to take a seat, so yeah, I'm just, I follow. I, yep, I went to have a seat. You I'm, sit and the, the couch just collapses. Like, <laughs> <laughs> How tall is uh, this devil guy? Uh, you can't tell um, as he's sitting down, but oh. I think probably quite tall. Oh, okay. Um, so he goes, you're obviously lying. What? Why? And unfortunately, I can't just let you leave now that you've been in here and you've seen what's going on and you know about Pat and Myriad and what's been happening. Um, so, and he just makes a big fireball with his hand, and we're gonna roll initiative. And, oh, I was gonna say, can I, <laughs> oh yeah, we all watch an action first. Door, yeah. And I notice that there's some bottles behind me, right? Can I? I just have. A, I'm just like grabbing a bottle as I've been getting ready for just like this moment. I've got you, <laughs> and I want to chuck the bottle. Give me an attack roll. <laughs> and what am I adding to this again? Right, this is just my accuracy bonus. An accuracy bonus. <laughs> <laughs> the bottles. Is <laughs> uh, all right, that's an eight. So an eight. So um, you see the uh, Sorry, devil Bruce. looking guy, he lights his hand on fire and all of a sudden just goes and catches the bottle while looking and then just smashes it in his hand. <gasps> that I'm was... gonna be like, you're oh. under arrest! <clears throat> well, all right. And he just laughs at you. So now we're rolling initiative. <laughs> now we're rolling initiative. Oh, not as good oh, this time. At least it's a little uh, better. Mm-hmm, 
Sorry, one moment. It's a lot of rolls. <laughs> All right. Oh man. Twenty. Three. The bars on mimic. Three. Uncommon. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Uh, Captain. Twenty-one. And Moose. Also twenty-one. Wait. Twenty-two. Yes. So, <laughs> bad man. Excellent. Same so, character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thirteen plus nine. Twenty-one. No. <laughs> so the I'm losing my dice. <laughs> Demon-looking guy. Uh, with his big fireball, blasts you backwards, dealing 14 fire damage to you. And starts to Ooh. singe your uh, costume. And you uh, fly right back and bash into this table of Donovan's. Sick. Uh, question, when I recovered earlier, when we were outside, would yeah. that have recovered armor points as well? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so you okay. can be back to the full armor points. And sorry, you said 14 damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Moose, it's your turn. Oh, no, sorry, it's Omen's turn. Okay, uh, I am going to um, activate my t t telekinetic b b b barrier, and um, I'm going to use uh, what what objects do we have in the room, and how small does it have to be to fall under the purview of hurl object? Um, you can hurl an object up to your uh, like lifting capacity. So whatever your maximum lift is, seventy. K kg? Yeah, you could lift up to that. So like in pounds, that's like... Uh, 50? Yeah, 150-ish. So okay, 150, not, not too bad. Yeah, all right. so there's some couches, uh, poker tables, um, all sorts of really expensive looking glasses and chairs and stuff like that. Okay, um, okay, cool. Then I will uh, skip that and I will do a, just like, and then, and do a psionic attack. Awesome. On him. <clears throat> That is not going to do it. Seven. Seven? <laughs> oh, yeah, so you do the uh, well here. psionic attack on him, and um, he just, it, it hits, and you don't feel anything happen, and he just stands up and towers over you. And he, it looks like he's a little bit shorter than Moose, but it's still probably like seven feet tall, about. Oh, all right. All right, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, okay, I hit those guys. Yeah. And what's it looking like now? Were you like a crumpled heap together? Uh, you like bashed into their chair and like landed on the table. And okay. um, so they've both stood up and both of them are like pulling on knuckle dusters oh. and getting ready to fight. Okay. Uh, and while I'm invulnerable, my costume is not. So you hit me with fire and I'm gonna be like, oh, mom's gonna be so upset. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab one of the guys by the ankle and I'm gonna hit the devil guy with him. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I love That's it. That's what's up. I love uh, it. So roll to attack, and okay. then if you hit both of them, your hand-to-hand -hand damage will just be on both of them. Sweet. Oh, four. Four? Yeah. Um, <laughs> So you, you that's my accuracy bonus is the only thing that affects that. Yeah, yeah. And that so, is, you know, so four. So so you like are lied back on the table and you go to like get up and grab his ankle and he just like <laughs> step back from <laughs> you. Oh. No. Uh, you still have one more action left. I do. Can I try the same sort of thing? Uh, so that would have been an attack yeah. attempt. So um, you can't attack twice. So ah. you'd have to choose a different action to do. Okay. Um. Uh oh, wait. I think we're frozen. Yeah, sometimes I don't know if it's our internet or if it's uh, or what's going on there. But uh oh, yeah. La pause. Uh, but if but I think we're still recording in OBS, so let's okay. just keep going. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> um, let's go. <clears throat> if I were to oh, just rush the guy, would that count as an attack? Like the devil? If I just get back up and. If this would be like uh, like trying to like wrestle him to the ground type of thing or knock him over, we'd call that like a strength contest. So oh, you'd okay. be yeah. So you can roll a contest. Yep. It'll be against his uh, strength as well, though. Yeah. It's on their end. Okay. Yeah. So we'll 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 keep going. <clears throat> Your number to beat is sixteen. And I'm rolling strength. Yeah. 
I already beat it. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you roll a nat one, though. When we come back, maybe we'll give a quick recap. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 33. 33. Um, so you run up and you just bowl him yeah, over. Yeah, right? like he, shoulder into him and then to the wall. He's trying to intimidate Omen and you just like bash right into <laughs> the wall. <laughs> I'm the juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, I think that's the name of that signature movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the juggernaut, comma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Captain, it's your turn. Okay. Um, so those other two are still standing over behind. I just watched Moose pummel this guy into a wall. Does that do any damage? Uh, in this case, it wouldn't do damage, no. So oh. you're just pummeling him in, and um, he's pretty resistant, so. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, so, in the meantime then, I still see the other two over by the other table, and I'm going to run out the door, leap up onto the bar, and yell out, Justice Roll! And then leap <laughs> off the end, <laughs> and do a Justice Roll towards the two at the table there. Awesome. All right. Nice. Okay, that was a good roll. <laughs> uh, and that's I'm uh, for that one. That's my ag agility. I'm adding to that, or uh, my it's your action bonus because it's an attack. Roll. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my action bonus. Uh, okay, so then that is a. Uh, I am having a hard time finding that at this moment. Where is that? On my sheet here, my action bonus. Uh, action bonus should be. Uh, oh, there it is. Sorry, yes. Sorry. Uh, so that's a uh, twenty. 20? Yeah, so 20 hits, so you bowl both of them over, dealing... Uh, dealing five damage to each. Five damage. Welcome back once again. <laughs> hey, hey. hey okay. um, Unexpected. Right in the middle of combat. Uh, so... Captain has just bowled over a bunch of the Donovans. I the justice roll and... <laughs> Bowled them over. Like local in. sushi store. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stood up and told them to stay down. And next up is Uncommon Denominator. And I have questions about my gadget grenades. Yes. And I, if I want to try the stun grenade, so I don't want to take out Moose, but they're very close together right now. Can yep. I aim it at the wall so that it would sort of like try to just hit the... Yeah, for sure. You could go right for devil hitting guy? the devil guy, and then we'll just count it as a single point. Okay. Or you can choose to be like in between for splash damage. Or yeah. Okay. So yeah. I'm gonna. I, I'll know. I would know how far away they tend to act. So I'm gonna try that. Yeah. Um, so mics right. are down. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. No sound. It says no sound. People in the chat are saying no sound. We're going to them. All right. Weird. Let us know, chat, if you can hear us. <laughs> it's through Zoom, it's probably an audio thing there. All right. okay. We can hear you, it says. All right. Hey! 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 There we go. We you, Let's Fandango. start again, again, <laughs> again. <laughs> so it'll be an attack roll for your grenade. Okay, go, go, Argo, Argo gadget grenades. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is only a eight. An eight, so uh, um, you throw it and it bounces off the wall, and you just see his like hand go up and crumple it into a bunch of pieces. I will, uh, you I will spend action. the uh, stamina point though. Okay. Um, oh yeah. Oh man, it, we are we're in a real tactical clump here. Yep. <laughs> so I will harness the power of Soda Field Child. And I will do a bunch of roll spins to get under a table nearby and take some cover. Okay. Um, and that will add, do you want to go behind the bar or like under a table? Oh, behind the bar. Behind the bar. That will add uh, 15 temporary armor points to you. Sweet. Did I lose any stamina for anything that I did? Um, missed for, my attack. You missed your attack. It would, you still take stamina for the missed attack. Okay. But that's it. Okay. Right, I have to. Yeah, I'm not, not, not got the the best of managing my stamina. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forget to keep. I like, just have to go back. Right, I've done this many actions, reduce yeah. my stamina. 
So Captain has come in and bowled over the Donovans and stood up, and they immediately pull you down and just start pumping. <laughs> and they do five damage to you. Okay. Yes. Extendable pool cue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they take it out. <laughs> One guy takes it out of a case and yeah. <laughs> screwed it together. Yeah. He means business. <laughs> um, it is now Dear the God. devil's turn. Three, uh, so he is, he, you look like, uh, he looks like he like summons like a big fireball in his, in his hands and it starts going out and out and out and then you kind of bowl into him more and it just kind of flickers out of the oh, distance. nice. Um, can you give me an agility contest though, please? Uh, oh, nice. Uh, 29. Twenty-nine. Okay. Um, he tries to get out from around you, um, but I only got a twenty-three. So you've kept him pinned in Super this corner. Broad, yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah. <laughs> There's no going. From that. It's no. You're here. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's your turn. Cool. Uh, I am going to um, take advantage of the opportunity that um, Moose has g g given me here, and uh, I'm going to roll another psionic attack on him. Awesome. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, oh, yeah, we're rolling like garbage. Yeah, I'm right, rolling right? like we're doing garbage right now. Um, that is 11. 11 ties, and ties always go to the player, so you just. <laughs> hey! hey! We're heroes! <laughs> <laughs> we're trash. We're heroes. I mean, yeah, 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 cool. Um, and uh, that enough. is 1d10. <laughs> 1d10. That's cocked. That's bad. Uh, so for three psionic, and he needs to attack an ally. Yeah, so you see his eyes like loll back in uh, in his head, and he gets this fiery look in his eyes, and he stops trying to push against uh, you, Moose, and just goes kind of limp. Oh. And Keep hitting him. You have one more yeah. action left. Okay. Way to beat him. Um, and I can't do another attack. Right? No, you can't do two attacks. Okay, um, uh, that's all right. I'm going to uh, step kind of towards, uh, kind of like next to the remnants of the couch. Awesome. <laughs> so over here. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to face the the two oh, for sure. on the other side there. There we go. Uh, and then Moose, it's your turn. Uh, okay, he said keep hitting him. Ooh, this feels weird if he went limp. Uh, I mean, if he went limp, screw it. I'm just gonna... He Flashbacks? Launched me, he launched me with a fireball. <laughs> yeah, not great. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab him by the center of the chest. How high is the ceiling? Uh, this is pretty low ceilings. They're probably only like nine feet in the... Because they're in like the cellar area. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, so I'm just gonna punch him into the ceiling. <laughs> Give me an attack roll? Yeah. <laughs> no one has to roll good. Nat 20. Yay! Yay! Wow. So, so what is your hand-to-hand -hand damage? Uh, 2d10. 2d10, so you're gonna do 20 damage. Plus 2d10. 2D10. Roll two tens. Four and nine. Uh, 13 is with 20, 33. 33. Um, so he <laughs> is actually resistant to uh, blunt damage, which means that he only takes half. So we'll go half, round it up, which would be 17. Um, but you push him right through the ceiling and he lets out this like fiery spurt of air Ooh. and you drop him back down and you see like the bartender right above and just <laughs> like, <laughs> and goes off again and you and you drop him down onto the ground okay yeah. so yeah i just <laughs> under the ground and he's, is he still limp uh he looks very angry but his eyes are still fiery and he's not focused on you at all oh uh, hmm. How, uh, what's the other business looking like? Uh, it when looks like me? the three of them are all rolling on the ground, punching the crap out of each other. Essentially. Oh, can I do another moose rush uh, at the two of them to yeah. try to get them off, Captain? Absolutely. Sweet. Uh, uh, so that's strength? Yeah, give me a strength contest. I'm going to get an agility contest or a speed contest from you to see if you can kind of get Night. out of the way. Because you're all We're in like a... trampled on. I mean, it's yeah. the same either way, so... Nat 20. Yeah, you're good. 
So yeah, you you bowl over and Captain just like like goes like straight out like <laughs> Yeah, and you and you It's the justice roll. Yeah. <laughs> justice roll. <laughs> and you get you get one justice in each arm and roll. slam them into the back wall. That's the justice burrito. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is a, a, a burrito and, place, a Toshi place? What, what is it? It can be two things. <laughs> it shouldn't be those two things <laughs> combined. <laughs> oh, of them. A sushi favorite. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. Pinned against the wall like that. You. And uh, Captain, it's your turn. Um, okay, so Moose just ran over me and took a, like, like, like pinned the other two. Yeah. And the other guy is on the ground. Yeah, and he's, he's just slowly getting back up. He's slowly getting back up. Yeah. Um, seeing. I'm gonna see him, and I want to. I'm gonna run towards him, and then just try to knee him in the face as he's trying to get up. Okay. Seventeen plus seventeen. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, uh, nineteen. Yeah. Total. Hit for a lot. And uh, that's nine. I hit him for Nine. So you run in and you knee him in the side of the head and he belches out more fire all over the couch and the couch lights up and is on fire. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, it's, it's this couch again. Oh, oh okay, good, 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 good. Uncommon, it's your turn. Um, I will shoot her. I will, <laughs> <laughs> I will shoot her with a scatter blaster. So I'm gonna pop up from from behind the bar where I'm mm-hmm. safely ensconced, and then I will shoot. Uh, which one are you shooting? Are you shooting? Uh, I'm gonna shoot or? the devil. The devil. Okay. Uh, shoot the devil. Sick. <laughs> Metal. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so cool. <laughs> um, I, I was d- captain in my way. Did he pop over? Um, captain would be. Oh yeah, captain came like here. Together. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Woo. <laughs> Check before you shoot. Oh, it's so bad again. Seven. I mean, like, guys, if there was another pigeon, I would have for sure hit it. <laughs> yeah, like a little <laughs> a rat comes one out like a pipe. <laughs> oh, no! 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 No, no, no. Uh, you just, uh, you hit the, the back wall and it just uh, kind of disperses and a bunch of dust pops out. Okay, I, at feeling, feeling my middle child lack of <laughs> Efficacy and no one will love me ever or pay more attention to me than everyone else And I just feel like I'm being useless and I haven't done anything and I've invented so much stuff And none of it is helping and I don't know what I'm gonna do and why am I even here? And Why did they bring me and what if they don't ever bring me again? And I'm just gonna lay back on the floor behind the bar and just like (laughs) Glass of soda and everything. Yeah, there's there's another one. I'm just gonna like Oh, or just like the, the, the it, fountain like, gun right into just, your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like the fountain is like spilling out over me and I'm gonna be, I'm so sticky! <laughs> <laughs> um, it is the devil's turn and you see him get up and look at you, Captain, look at you, Omen, and just walk past, walk straight up to uh, one of the Donovans there on the wall. Oh, I'm holding. And... Huh? He, oh, I lost my dice. He walks up and you see his tail snake up and just stab him in the throat. Oh my stab god! Who in the, throat? The, the Donovan. The guy oh. that I'm holding. <laughs> and like a big blood spray all over Moose and the tail. And, oh. Oh. and then he takes a step back and kind of clears his head a little bit and like roars. He's so angry now. <laughs> did I was you, like, did you do that? I didn't do it. I may have encouraged it. <laughs> I didn't know he'd be, he'd go ham like that though. <laughs> Can you give me a strength contest, please, Moose? As the other Donovan sees that and is now trying to like push away and run away. <laughs> Thirty-seven. Uh, yeah, you keep him <laughs> end up against the wall. He's just like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, <he's> like, oh, <laughs> no, no, please! <laughs> oh, mom's gonna be so mad. <laughs> oh man, it's your turn. Got blood on me now too. Fire, blood. Oh, sorry, me? Yeah. Okay. Um, great. Uh, then I'm gonna take the opportunity to. Um, um, hmm. Couch might be too heavy for me. Yes. yes. Cool. Uh, I'm going to take um, 
yeah, I'm I'm gonna uh, ta -ta -ta. yeah, I'm I'm gonna do another uh, psionic attack on, him. on the devil. Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I watched that, that dance. Oh, that dance like, into a nat one. A oh, no. It was like it was like. What am I gonna do? Oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> so you, uh, you, you get like you're just about to do it, and then you just get like covered in blood spray from. <laughs> oh. um, his name's Hellfire. So Hellfire. Um, I was like, oh no. Stabbing him. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, in, mouth. Oh. in my mouth. I uh, I am gonna use uh, my remaining action to run to the bar and grab the soda gun <laughs> to wash out my mouth. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the devil guy's right next to me. And I'm still holding this guy. So I'm just gonna swing him at the devil guy. <laughs> <laughs> Obvious choice. Yeah, yeah it's very <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Three. Oh, yeah. Three. So you swing him. You're done. At the devil guy, and and Hellfire. Instead of getting hit by him, as he swings, he punches him in the head as he comes around instead, and just knocks him out. Oh. Ooh. What? <laughs> Who does that? Uh, one more action. Oh. Uh, um. <laughs> oh crap! What can I do? Can I? Can I grapple Hellfire? Uh, yeah. Give me a strength contest. Okay. These two are out. <clears throat> uh, yeah, because it looked like his hands needed to be together to do fire stuff, so I just want to pin his hands behind his back. Okay. If I can. Yeah. Give me a strength contest. Uh, thirty-eight. I can't even get a 38 with my hand. <laughs> Look at this pencil. This uh, yeah, so you pin him, hands behind his back, and Captain, it's your turn. Um, okay, well, his hands are behind his back, and Moose is holding him. So um, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to run up to him and just full on matrix punch him in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me a tag roll. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's a 10. <laughs> a t uh, is that with your accuracy bonus? Yep. That just misses, unfortunately. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, Do you get any kind of up? advantage because he's grappled? Sure, a minor advantage. So you just make it then. Hey! <laughs> I don't know unless you ask, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, and I do nine damage. Nine. So you come up and you just start absolutely pummeling him. And uh, with every with every punch, he lets out a little spurt of fire. <laughs> Is that in my face? <laughs> On uh, with your major, you're dodging it. You're like going all over the place. Um, bob and weave, baby. Bob and weave. Yeah. It I is have the gloves. Hellfire's turn, and he goes enough and goes like this, and a uh, rolling wave of fire goes out all around him. And I'll need Omen. You're over here, right? Yeah. Does okay. he have to contest like strength against me or anything? This is like emanating right from him oh. instead. Yeah, like a kind of AOE. So I'll need both of you to make either a speed or an agility contest. Thank goodness okay. you were in Soda Shame Corner. Uh, I don't like it over here either. <laughs> <laughs> I see him start to do something, can I just throw him out the room? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. For me. <laughs> Throw through a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. The bartender is spicy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 21 for me. 21. My cabbages. Good. Uh, Twenty-one for me. Awesome. Yeah. So you're both good as you hit the deck as this huge explosion of fire. Continue uh, with thing. It goes all out from around him, <laughs> and in the haze, as you look up, you see him suck in all the smoke and vanish. Whoa. And right before he vanishes, he goes until next time. People keep disappearing today. This is weird. <laughs> is this gonna happen a lot? And we are out of uh, the combat yeah. now. Oh, is everybody okay? <laughs> you On look paper, rough. yeah. I'm <laughs> looking rough, but Captain Justice still gets it. It's all right, Moose. I will be fine. Uh, Argo, uh, how you doing? That guy's dead. Yeah, we got to call Powers. Yeah. It's okay. We have full coverage. We'll that is not our team name. <laughs> Does that cover... 
therapy as well? Yeah. <laughs> there are some very good powers division recommended therapists. Yeah, that's, <laughs> great. Yeah. that's great. That's um, great. So we still need some kind of proof that yeah, is these there, guys hired me. Is there a door at the back there? Is that what I'm seeing? Yes, so there's a door here and it's labeled server room. Ooh. I think. Um, okay. Argo. Uh, yeah. No! Argo. Hey, Denny, Denny. Argo. Little buddy. Mm. There's a server room. Maybe you can get like proof that they were the ones hacking all the places. <laughs> can I just yell at him? It's like, yeah, drink some more soda and come and check out the server room. I'm gonna look up over the bar and you say drink some more soda and I'm like, Oh, oh, oh I'm, ah, so I'm right there. <laughs> I'm right there. I'll just be like, no. damn. Moose, uh. door. I, I can look at the server. The door to the server room. Open the door to the server room. Is it locked? Uh, no, no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit of a hallway, and then both doors are just completely unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna, and, um, I'm gonna walk over to Moose before we go into the server room and I'm just gonna, cause he opened the door and I'm just gonna lean against him and like all my weight just into it and I'm like, oh. I'm really bad at stuff, I can't do this either. No, you're really I can't good. do this either! You're, you're good at stuff except for sugar. Yeah, yeah. Okay, little buddy, you just drank too much. So yeah, we're going into the server room. So you walk into the server room and there's all these wires and cords leading from the different servers through to this little prison cell, and there's a man connected to all of them. It looks like he's got ports all over his body. He's got big shaggy beard, all disheveled looking, and he's like, are you here to help me? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah, and I, I, I be, before I ask him anything, I just start helping him. Yeah. Wait, don't, don't, don't touch anything just yet though. What? Hey, gentlemen, if we, how do we safely disconnect you? Just pull wires out, man. Oh, really? And he's like, just so fucking pull him out. Just just like, don't <laughs> touch anything. It might be connected to him. He said, just pull him out. Okay. I start. So yeah, they start coming out, and it looks like he has all these like USB Ethernet ports like all over, just in like in his skin, Ooh. all over his body. And I'll get an intelligence contest from everybody. The <laughs> <laughs> it's not my strength. Uh, Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Sixteen. Thirty. Twenty-one. Sorry, 16, 21, 30. 30, 30 and 36 are good. 16 and 21, you can each mark experience. <laughs> um, both of you, through his like disheveled costume and everything, you actually recognize him as a superhero from New Olympus known as Firewall. A oh interface based a superhero um, who hacks into like, uh, does like corporate espionage and all sorts of stuff like that. And who's been missing for like, like half a year oh. at this point. Moose, it's Firewall. Wait, what? It's Firewall? And he begins explaining to you as you uh, start unplugging everything that the Donovans actually captured him and they've been forcing him to hack into buildings and shut down security systems across the city so that they can start stealing magical items and things like that. Whoa. What do they want with we the magical items? We need to get this man safely back to people who know more than we do. Omni, Argo. Take Firewall here and get him outside. Moose, you and me are gonna smash this Whoa, room. No, there could be no, data, no. there could be data, there could be data, no, there, could no, be data no. there could be data, there could be data in here. I know that. Yeah, no, this is proof. No one should be allowed to do this again. I'm gonna take you outside. Take. I'm just gonna grab Captain <laughs> and we're gonna go outside. Can he do that I though? <laughs> uh, strength contest against probably strength or agility, your choice. Ooh, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, 36. Damn, 29. Okay, so 29. before, but like, we, we're just like. He's trying to pull me by my, by my no, 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 I'm like. Don't fight, don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. Yeah. We need to, don't destroy stuff. There could be, we might need this information. Yeah. There could be lots of data here. Can I interface with the system? I say, hey, Cap, when Powers gets the the the, the info and l learns about this, yeah. it makes you look like a bigger, better hero. <laughs> you definitely can't interface with it. Yeah, okay. and Firewall, as you go to it, he, he's kind of like, be careful, be careful. Like it's all connected to all sorts of different stuff. And he's like, I would just let Powers Division get here, deal with everything. Are there any magical items here? Uh, not in this, not in the server okay. room. No, no, no. 
Mm. No. Um, so Firewall does not know why they were after the magical items at all. He thinks that it's something to do with Hellfire working with the Donovans, um, but he doesn't know. He was just told to which systems to shut down at which time and things. Is like Hellfire that. like a known sort of bad guy? Hellfire usually is um, works with a team called the Burning Brigade, which is a team of supervillains with all fire-based powers. Oh. And he's oh. never been known to work with the Donovans before. Oh no. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Quick selfie pic with him. He's <laughs> in <a> bad shape. <laughs> and he no, like he, he does his best for his like superhero pose. Like <laughs> so wait. <laughs> are these these are uh, I'm, so I'm guessing there's like hard drives and just shit everywhere inside these yeah. things stacks. like that. Like just stacks of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, so just like understanding what's been said to me. And Captain's like, all right, team, that's a good suggestion. And he turns around and he just grabs two of these racks and he's just like, <laughs> takes them. Let's go home. <laughs> so they're not going to fit through the door. Oh, I, don't, I <laughs> think we can leave these here. I'm already moving out the door. Like, are you, you're like already calling. Like, uh, yeah, I've I made the call. Coach, when when we saw yeah, him, like I'm, your coach is on the way, powers division is on the way. Um, this is like a huge bust for yeah, a yeah. young superhero team, and I think that that is probably the perfect spot yeah. to wrap it up for your first adventure. Jack, thank you so much. That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. A really cool fun. game. Yeah. Firewall. That got that was very exciting. Because earlier when you detected a presence, I was like, yeah. Firewall. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't know there was a character named Firewall. I'm so glad you guys had a good time. Yeah, yeah that's oh, yeah. great. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank, thank you, you Jack. so much. And uh, thank you uh, everybody with the Terminal City Table Convention, Tabletop Convention, sorry, uh, for having us be a part of this. We really, really enjoyed being here. Yep. Uh, and like I said before, tune in on Tuesdays to catch uh, Tabletop Tuesdays with a filthy lot. That's twitch.tv slash filthy lot, or you can check out the VODs after the fact on YouTube slash uh, Questline or Filthy Questline. Uh, the URL still works. Just search for, you can search for Ready to Roll, you can search for Questline on YouTube, you'll find us. Um, yeah, thank you everybody so much. Thank you guys for playing. Thank you, Jack, especially. And yes. thank you, Match Play thank Games. You. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you, Terminal City. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. and uh, until next time, stay filthy. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs>